Unforgettable 920. The Oregon School Activities Association welcomes you to this broadcast of an OSAA U.S. Bank Les Schwab Tires State Championship event. U.S. Bank is proud to celebrate its 27th year of supporting OSAA State Championships. Les Schwab Tires celebrating more than 55 years of pride in performance. Now enjoy the greatest sporting event around, a high school state championship. The following sports broadcast is an exclusive presentation of the unforgettable 920 KSHO. Bulldogs basketball is on the air. Tonight's West Albany game is brought to you by Economy Supply Building Center. City and Suburban Electric, Albany Grocery Outlet, Mark Thomas Motors, Courtesy Corner Shell, H&R Block, Stavros Auto Services, Willamette Community Bank, Lassen RV, J&J Electric, Les Schwab Tires of Albany, Lynn Lanes, Brass Plumbing, Crabtree Automotive, Power Honda, Figaro's, Albany Athletic Club, Linco Federal Credit Union, Burgerville, Now Builders, Wilson Motors, and by Lynn Benton Tractor. Now get ready for Bulldogs basketball. With all the action, here are Radio Ryan and Wally Orderman live on 920 KSHO. It is with equal amount of wonder and pride that I welcome you to Eugene, Oregon. It's been 22 years since West Albany has found themselves in the final eight of the state tournament. That streak comes to an end here tonight as West Albany returns to Eugene, Matthew Knight Arena, the site of the 5A OSAA U.S. Bank Les Schwab Tires Boys and Girls State Championships. We've got them for you here on K-Show. I welcome you here to perhaps the biggest crown jewel on a campus that knows a thing or two about crown jewels. The third year home of the Oregon Ducks and of the OSAA 5A State Tournament. Wally, for West Albany, it's been a long time coming to get back here to the tournament. But after their 26-point win over Eagle Point last Friday, it was worth the wait. They have earned this trip to Matt Knight Arena to play in the state tournament. The final eight, it's a very exciting time. It's been too long, over two decades since the Bulldogs have been here. Exciting for them, exciting for us, exciting for the community as a whole. Expect to be uh, Albany to have, be a well-traveled group coming from uh, just 45 miles away. We always are already see the students filing in in great numbers for uh, here in the end zone near us. Should be a great night. It's a lot of fun to be a part of this atmosphere. I'm really happy for the kids that they could be could be part of this. Now, they're not here just to watch this tournament. They're here to try and win some games. And their first task for tonight is to take on simply the team that has the most tournament wins in the state of Oregon all time. That's Jefferson with 106. The Democrats have won three state titles in 5A back in 2008, 2009, and in 2010. And for them, it was a long drought to get to the state tournament. They haven't been here in two years, the last two. <laughs> for them, that's a long time. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, storied program out of Jefferson, and, and uh, they always have great athletes, great coaching, and they uh, they bring it. They play at a very high, high rate of, of speed. They, uh, they get up and down the floor. You and I had the benefit of watching Jefferson a couple of years ago when they played South Albany in the first round of the, of the playoffs. And oh my, oh my, if they bring that style tonight, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a track meet. This Jefferson team, they are built on speed. They score 75 points, excuse me, 75 points a game. They allow 55. They're outscoring their opponents on the season by 20. This is a very, very good basketball team. This is year seven of the relatively new classification. I don't know if I can still call it new, but of the six classification system. And in this now, the seventh year, Jefferson has finished second, second, first, first, tenth for some strange reason, tied for first and first in scoring in 5A. The point being, they get up and down the floor. They have a ton of athletes. Obviously, the last time that we saw them and broadcast one of their games, they had a future NBA lottery pick on the floor in Terrence Jones. The shocking thing and the stunning thing is that they had a second future NBA lottery pick on the bench, and they scored 122 points. Terrence Jones was the one who played. Terrence Ross was the one who played here in his freshman and sophomore years, transferred to Maryland, tried to get an athletic hardship from the Portland Interscholastic League. They would not allow it. So Terrence Ross sat out his senior year. Terrence Jones led the team to a state championship, and then both went on to become lottery picks this past summer. There is no Terrence Jones or Terrence Ross on this team, but what they do have 
are a couple of players in Silas Melson and Victor Sanders who can still play above the rim. Yeah, they uh, they they play hard, they play fast, and they make you chase them. They uh, they they're what they're going to do. They're going to probably give some full court pressure to the Bulldogs. They do like to get the steals, get out in transition, and get the quick buckets. Then on the offensive end, they are not going to waste a lot of time getting uh, getting looks. They're going to have quick ball movement, and they're going to look to get their shot. Every player on the floor for the Democrats tonight will be looking to get a shot. It's uh, nothing deliberate about what they're going to do, and West Albany knows that West has watched some film. They know what they're in for tonight. West Albany brings a brand of basketball that we haven't seen in quite a while, and they are playing at a very high level, too. This West Albany team, you said it exactly right. They are not looking to just come down here and make a good show. They want to win basketball games, and this starts right here. What a huge upset this would be, but West playing the way they're playing right now, they can beat anybody in the state. West Albany comes in 18 and 7. They are 11 and 3. It's where they finished in the Middle Atlantic Conference. Jefferson at 21 and 4 overall. They were a perfect 12 and 0 in the PIL. They have not lost since January the 5th. That was to one of the best 6A teams in the state. Grant. Their 14 game winning streak is the second longest in 5A, and the longest streak continued here just prior to this as Silverton won their 18th straight game, knocking off Milwaukee. Three of the final four in the state are set. Churchill and Mountain View won earlier today. Silverton just won 55-47 over Milwaukee. One semifinalist yet to be determined. That is here coming shortly. Jefferson and West Albany from Matthew Knight Arena. Tip off oh, about five minutes away. So we'll take a break and continue here at 920 K-Show. If you'd like to do it yourself or need helpful advice doing it, your neighborhood Ace Hardware and Contractor Center can help. The Economy Supply Building Center has been that helpful place for over 58 years. The Economy Supply Building Center, where Highway 34 becomes Tangent Street in Lebanon. Need some electrical work in your home or business, but it just seems like too small of a job to call the pros? No matter what the job, call City and Suburban Electric. Proud to be a contributing member of our community, City and Suburban Electric. Call 451-5609. Lassen RV at Albany has the new RV models on the lot now, ready for you to buy. Lassen RV Service Department has a new truckload of parts and accessories on sale just in time for fall fix-up. From changing a light bulb to rebuilding your entire RV, no job is too big or too small for Lassen RV at Albany, where friends send their friends. Join the fun at the Albany Athletic Club. Group fitness classes from low-impact dance to traditional circuit training, plus racquetball and more. Watch your waistline shrink and your health improve every day. Start now at the Albany Athletic Club on Hickory next to Tom's Garden Center. You will come out a winner at Power Honda. Their talented staff will show you how easy it is to get the vehicle you want and the payment you need. Check out MyPowerHonda.com. Call 928-0122 or just go in to Power Honda. Highway 20 east of I-5 in Albany, your Honda Superstore. Albany Burgerville is now featuring the Ham Havarti Sandwich, all-natural diamond ranch ham layered with melted Havarti cheese on a toasted hoagie roll and the chocolate hazelnut milkshake. Pick up an Albany Burgerville rewards card now. Cash for every dollar spent. Albany Burgerville. Fresh, local, sustainable. We're Linco Federal Credit Union. Keep your money in Lynn County with Linco Federal Credit Union. Enjoy a visit with one of our friendly staff at a neighborhood branch near you today. Linco Federal Credit Union in Albany, Lebanon, and Sweet Home. In Lynn, you're in. Albany Grocery Outlet Bargain Market across from the Heritage Mall has Senior Day. The first Tuesday of every month, $2 off every purchase of $15 or more. Albany Grocery Outlet Bargain Market, 100% satisfaction guaranteed across from the Heritage Mall with bargains on the brands you trust. 920 KSHO. Welcome back here to Eugene. It is the late game. We'll be back with you tomorrow night for another late game. Boys and girls for West Albany, both down here in Eugene. The girls tomorrow night against Corvallis. That'll also be an 8-15 tip, about 8 on the air. The boys here tonight in the road to the championship game. Should West Albany be fortunate enough to win, would be all late games. They don't want to play any games before 8 o'clock in this tournament. No, that's right, and that means uh, that means success for the West Albany boys, and that's, uh, that's what you want. You be, want to be able to have that good night's sleep after your game, come out, get a good meal. You don't want to play in the breakfast club. That's not the goal. But, uh, you know, West Albany, they've got, no, they have their work cut out for them tonight. But uh, I like West chances. I really do. The Bulldogs, once they got going last Friday against Eagle Point, looked as good as we've seen them at any time in this our eighth year of covering them. They had a nine-point halftime lead against Eagle Point, and in the third quarter, they came out and just blew that game open in about the first three minutes. A couple of dunks. The first was an alley-oop. 
uh, purportedly to Jalen Schlegel. Now, there's still a little <laughs> bit of uh, discrepancy between Nate Sherwood's story and Jalen Schlegel's story about who that lob was actually intended for. Jalen claims it was his. Nate claims it was his. Jalen's the one who threw that down. Nate got his a little bit later. In fact, he got two. He got the one-hand tomahawk flying through the lane, and a little bit later, maybe even more impressive, the two-foot flat-footed dunk that he put down. Three dunks in the quarter. The Bulldogs went nuts, wound up winning by 26. And they proved something in that third quarter that, I mean, when they play at their peak efficiency, they are among the best in the state. When they play as a team and when they get after it on the boards, great things happen. It great leads to transition buckets for them. And when they play with it, with that kind of energy, good things are going to happen at both ends. It, that third quarter in particular was so fun to watch. And by the way, Jalen did steal that dunk for me. <laughs> there, there's no question about it. But, uh, oh, what a... What a, a what a thing for the crowd too and, and you go back and you watch that youtube clip two minutes long and it's just full of those and it's just so fun to watch it's brought an excitement to this west albany basketball program a lot of excitement for these uh, for these bulldog fans for much of the year we've talked about the seniors for west albany and the big two seniors chad sherwood and jalen schlegel but it was the junior and the younger brother of chad that really took that game over on friday night and though there is basketball yet to be played this year, maybe a glimpse of what's ahead for West Albany next year. The Nate Sherwood Show, 26 points last Friday. Yeah, Nate was spectacular in all facets of the game. He was grabbing boards. He was shooting from outside. He was getting to the rim when he wanted to. What I liked was when, it, even just watching that two-minute YouTube clip, watching when a shot went up, what Nate was doing. He was going to the rim to try and get boards. The complete player. And Nate really brought it and distinguished himself in that game fourth consecutive year that we have been down here on Eugene for the state tournament. The previous three with the girls, they will be along here tomorrow. The boys here tonight, there were only two teams in the state that brought their boys and girls teams here to Eugene. Milwaukee was the other, and West Albany. It is very, very high times in Albany, and we'll hope that it can soar a little bit higher here tonight. A tough test with Jefferson and West Albany coming your way shortly. We'll take a timeout and return to 920 K-Show. 1979, Crabtree Auto stresses the small stuff when it comes to maintaining your vehicle. An oil change every 3,000 miles is a small thing now, but adds up to big rewards down the road. Crabtree Auto on Hill Street, just south of 9th in Albany. Now is the time to buy a car at Mark Thomas Motors. Four generations of the auto business are here to stay. Mark Thomas Motors is big on supporting local events. Three locations in Albany, Dodge Chrysler Jeep, Hyundai, GMC Buick Pontiac. Now is the time to buy a car at Mark Thomas Motors in Albany. Just like the Bulldogs, Courtesy Corner Shell gives you everything they have every time you drive in. Fast and friendly service, windows always clean. Non-ethanol fuels for small engines, boats, and vintage cars available. You can't beat Courtesy Corner Shell near Queen on Pacific Boulevard. They'll be happy to see you. Lynn Lane's in Lebanon, home of the best burger in town. The place to bowl is Lynn Lane's Bowling Center on South Main Road in Lebanon. And the people are real nice. And the Head Pin Restaurant, I'd go there even if the bowling alley wasn't attached. Good family fun. Bowling. America's best music and the news you need. This is 920 KSHO, Lebanon, Albany, Corvallis. As much excitement as there is for us to be here in Eugene, you can only imagine what's going through the players' bodies right now as the starting five is being introduced. For West Albany, Sawyer Reed, the 5'10 senior point guard, the game manager, the leader on the floor, averaging 4.4 points per game. Chad Sherwood on the wing, the 6'2 senior, team's leading scorer at 16.1 points per game. In the middle, Jalen Schlegel, 6'8", senior, averaging 14.7 points per game. Nate Sherwood, the junior wing at 6'8", coming off that 26-point performance against Eagle Point, averaging 11.7. And Josh Bryant, back in the starting lineup, the big guy, the senior, at 6'6", averaging 5.8 points per game. That right there is a change. We haven't seen Josh in the starting lineup for a while, and perhaps that's an answer to this Jefferson size. Yeah, I think, I think, think maybe that's the case, and uh, certainly maybe you lose a little bit of speed with Josh in the in starting lineup, but uh, certainly you add some bulk, you get some uh, some more rebounding power. I think probably the strategy is to try and limit to Jefferson to one and done on the uh, on the defensive glass. You get Josh in there and, and uh, power up some boards. Maybe you're going the other way in some transition. The starting five for Jefferson, their point guard, a five foot nine sophomore, Kadeem Strickland, a point guard like his father, Pat, who is the head coach for Jefferson, former Oregon State point guard, won a state championship at Wilson High School. He's joined in the backcourt by Silas Nelson, a six foot three junior, Victor Sanders in the front court, a six foot five senior, Devontae Pascal, a six foot two junior, and Hayden Hall, a six foot seven 
senior. Cindy Otta Edwards is the tallest player on this team, and with his hairdo, he's about seven foot two. If you add <laughs> the follicles on top of his head, has the big afro, wears the goggles, looks a little bit like the old artist Gilmore, but he will not start. The tallest Jefferson starter is six foot seven, Hayden Hall. He's in center circle against Nate Sherwin, and we are ready to go here from Matthew Knight Arena. The Bulldogs and their traveling navies, Jefferson in their home whites, and West wins the tip, working at the basket way down to our left. As Nate Sherwood will take it on the right wing. Straight ahead to Chad Sherwood, guarded by Nelson. Drives in, puts up a floater that will rattle in, and the Bulldogs have the first bucket. The same way Chad started the Eagle Point game, getting into the paint and floating one in. And I, nothing I like how he does that, establishing himself. Hey, I'm not just a perimeter guy. I'm going to try and get you to the rim. Hayden Hall on the right wing for Jefferson, right in front of us with Chad Sherwood in his grill. Gets it to Victor Sanders with the kid and play high fade look for Sanders. A little bit of a throwback as Nelson now gives it to Strickland, who is a spinning image of his father, Pat, on the Jefferson sideline. Now to Sanders, into the corner for Hall, to the high post, Pascal, jumper on the way, short, rebounded by Sawyer Reed. Reed, eyes up, guarded by Strickland, fires it into the middle, it's deflected and stolen by Jefferson. Nelson with it, straight up the middle. Nelson, just inside the arc, will back it out straight away to Hall, fakes the three, comes around the perimeter left for Sanders. He'll launch a three that might have been blocked by Nate and pulled down by Chad. Josh Bryant's hobbling. He lost, he got, uh, he maybe tweaked an ankle. Ahead of the pack, it's Jalen Schlegel going up off the window and in, and the Bulldogs lead it four to nothing, just more than a minute gone by in the first. Silas Nelson quickly to front court. Sawyer Reed right with him as Nelson comes back up top to Strickland. They have a sub ready to come in for Bryant as he tries to body up down low. Now Nelson on the wing into the corner for Hall. Hall gets the cutting pass call. Got around Reed, put it up and in with a foul. He was able to lay it in, count the bucket, and Pascal will be at the line to try and complete a three-point play. Going to get Jalen Schlegel for this. It was a nice move to the bucket. Jalen trying to block that from behind. So he got caught the, the hand, first foul on the Bulldogs. Jalen picks up his first. An early sub in as Josh Bryant will hobble down to the far side of the bench and Keaton Bader will check in. Devontae Pascal, six foot two junior. He had the line to shoot one. As we watch this massive Bulldog student section to our right, got to say hi to, to uh, John Birchfield, who uh, got called in to work tonight, is not able to be here, really wanted to, but couldn't, honoring his work commitment. So we will say hi to John as Pascal puts in the free throw. 4-3. The scoreboard here is backwards above us. It says Jefferson 4, West Albany 3, but opposite it says West Albany 4, Jefferson 3. As the Bulldogs get down the floor, and they're going to get a layup with Nate Sherwood able to get underneath and lay it in. Now a little trap near midcourt. Nelson had it deflected way into backcourt. Chased down by Hayden Hall. Up ahead to Strickland across the timeline, working on the left side. Josh Bryant looks like he's going to be okay. Going to come back into the game for Bader. Strickland around a high screen from Hall. Straight away, guarded by Nate Sherwood on the switch. Victor Sanders gets it, takes the shot, come to Strickland. Now Nelson, a right wing three that is good. And we're tied at six. Just under six minutes to go in the opening quarter. A 6-6 tie as Nelson knocks in a three from the right wing. Jalen Schlegel up ahead, Sawyer Reed, bodied up by Strickland. Waits for a little bit of traffic to clear. Now we'll work around a Schlegel screen into front court, operating right. Reed gives it to Nate Sherwood, fake the three, got his man in the air, pulls for the jumper from the baseline, it's long, rebound Nelson. Jefferson on the run as Nelson looks to push. Comes right for Strickland, he'll launch up a three. That's long, rebounded by Chad Sherwood. 6-6 six, six with 5.25 to go in the opening quarter. Chad crossing over Melson, got inside, scoops it to Jalen, who cannot finish the layup. A follow by Bader's no good. Schlegel tips, gets his own, missed again, and finally tips it in. A fourth or fifth try is good, and the Bulldogs lead 8-6. Patton is rebounding stats. Diligence <laughs> pays off there as the Bulldogs get the bucket on Jalen's diligence. Melson just in front of us. I mean, you can reach out and touch him here on the floor in Eugene. Right into the middle for Hall. Open jumper from the foul line, around and off. No good. Rebound Nate Sherwood. All navy blue underneath the glass on that one. Nate pulled the board. Up to Sawyer Reed on the right side, crossing left for Chad. And they're going to call Sherwood for a walk as he tried to drive along the baseline. 4.49 to go first quarter. 8-6 West Albany. Josh Bryant back in. Keaton Bader will check out. Good to see Bryant right back into the lineup. Yes, it is. I tell you, you hate to see have, have the coaching staff and the, and the fans have to pay attention to the scoreboard the second time we've seen an error put up there. Well, it's still wrong above us, but the score opposite is correct. 8-6 West Albany. Is Strickland around a screen from Pascal straight away. Now foul line extended left. Scoops it back out to Melson. Melson guarded by Chad who poked it away. Melson got it back. Feeds Sanders along the baseline. His floating jumper is good, and we're tied at 8. 
Victor Sanders, a six foot five senior, and a slick shooter. Saw that in the highlights of their win over Willamette. Down low, Jalen Schlegel, left block, guarded by Sanders, sizing him up. Goes cross court right for Bryant. Bryant along the baseline, right into the chest of Hall. Comes back up top for Chad. A three on the way for Sherwood. Good. Chad Sherwood with a triple from up top. First Boy, three for West Albany. Got himself square to the bucket, Ryan. Nice release. Great rotation on the ball. Chad looks like he's on. Chad, who went wild from three late in the season, hits his first one tonight. 11-8 West, just more than midway through the first quarter. A floater from Kadeem Strickland is good in the paint. And Jefferson gets the quick answer. 11-10 Bulldogs. Frantic pace early as Reed gives it to Chad way out on the left wing. Trying to work on Melson. Drives to the baseline. Goes to the fadeaway and buries it. And Chad Sherwood's locked in. 13-10 West Albany. Well, anybody who thought Jefferson was going to come in and run the Bulldogs out of the gym, not so, so far. 13-10 Bulldogs. Strickland to Melson. Try to buy Nate on the right wing. A Pasco screen coming. Nelson won't use it, picks up his dribble, comes to the right for Strickland. Guarded by Nate Sherwood, who has almost a foot on him. Strickland dribbles just inside the foul line. Missed the jumper long, rebound Jalen Schlegel. Off to Reed, and the Bulldogs with a three-point lead in the ball. So they get it straight away to Schlegel. Now to Reed. Angling to the right wing. He'll feed Nate Sherwood. Pascal, hand right in Nate's face. Nate wants to drive on the baseline, really being bodied, pulls for a jumper, missed it short. Looked like he got hit on the jumper, and a rebound to Victor Sanders. Sanders, full speed, behind the back to Hall. Hall, dribbling along the foul line, back to the baseline for Sanders. Jumper on the way, front rim, no good. Rebound on the floor, and Bryant's got it. West Albany doing very well on the boards here in the first quarter. They lead by three with 2.40 to play. Reed to Chad Sherwood, left wing. Chad. To the top for Nate. Ball's knocked away. Chased down on the far side and out of bounds. Last touch by Nate. Out of bounds. Deflected by Pascal. Off Nate Sherwood. It'll be Jefferson ball. Nate. As Jamarte Brown will check in for Jefferson. Nate was pretty confident there that uh, that, that ball was off Jefferson player and is going to be going the other way. Yeah, he didn't fly after that one the way he would have if he thought he'd been the last to touch it. Democrats with the ball down three. 2.27 to go in the first quarter. Hector Sanders up top. Guarded by Chad. Very aggressive defense as Sanders gives it to Melson. Melson body by Nate. Stolen by Nate. He will scoop it back to Sawyer Reed. Still no fouls in this game with 2.10 to go in the first quarter. They're letting him play. Reed up top for Bryant. Straight away Bryant goes left now for Sherwood on the wing. Chad lobs it into Jalen Schlegel. Left to the key. Jalen sizing up Sanders. Backs right into his chest. Goes the little jumper. Missed it long. Bryant kept it alive but into the hands of Brown for Jefferson. Up to Strickland on the run. Strickland, top of the key, fake the three, now drives on the hesitation, puts it high off the window, and in, count it, and a foul as Kadeem Strickland will have a chance for a three-point play. Boy, what a sweet move that was, too. I tell you, he started to drive, just kind of a little hesitation dribble, backed up a step, and then took it strong to the rib, draws the foul, and a chance to tie this game again. Quintus Hall, Jr. will come in for Jefferson. Devontae Pascal will check out. Brandon Dixon is going to sub in for West Albany, his first appearance. And Nate Sherwood will take a rest. Minute 48 to go in the first quarter, and Kadeem Strickland at the line for a free throw that could tie it. Interesting family ties with Kadeem, as his cousin Deontay plays for Central Catholic, one of the 6A powers in Portland. And his father's stepson, so I guess it would be his stepbrother, plays for the union team that West Albany played earlier in the season, Isaiah Robinson who also happens to be the son of Cliff Robinson, the former Blazer. Strickland hit the free throw. We're tied at 13 with 1.40 to go in the first. Brandon Dixon gets it to Sawyer Reed on the right wing. Strickland all over him, knocked away and stolen. And Strickland on the run, up ahead of the pack, in and lays it in. And Jefferson has their first lead at 15-13 with 1.27 to go in the first quarter. You know, Ryan, they've got the Bulldogs for just one, one team foul here in this half. We know Jalen had one early, and then we just had another one. I think that even that count is wrong. As Reed comes way ahead for Dixon. Dixon saves it to the top for Bryant. And the Bulldogs trying to settle the possession. Bryant gives it to Chad Sherwood right at the edge of the green O at center circle here in Eugene. Sherwood angling left to the elbow. Tough shot blocked by Nelson. Chased down by Jalen up top between the circles. Jalen skips it right for Brandon Dixon. And Dixon will come back out to Chad. Under a minute now in the first quarter. 15-13 Jefferson. Sawyer Reed in the right corner with the handle. Reed scanning the D, lobs it to Bryant, right of the lane. Bryant backing in on Brown, goes up through him and gets fouled. Two free throws coming for Bryant. Brown thought he had all ball, ripped it away cleanly from Bryant, but they'll call him for a foul. Yeah, I think Josh got caught a little bit back behind the bucket, too. Behind the backboard, I think probably fortunate that foul was called, but Josh gets to go to the line to try and tie this game with two free throws. 
Foul on Jamarte Brown, his first. And Wally, you're right on it. They did correct the team fouls for West Albany. Now with two on the board. Ryan's free throw on its way and short. No good. Nate Sherwood in for Sawyer Reed with 44 seconds here in the first quarter. You wonder at what point they're going to correct the score above us because it's going to confuse me at some point. They've got it backwards on the big scoreboard and correct again on the one opposite us here. You would think that electronically they'd be tied together. You would think. Bryant hits the second free throw, one of two. 15-14, Jefferson. Keaton Bader in, Jalen Schlegel out. So it's Chad Sherwood, Josh Bryant, Brandon Dixon, Nate Sherwood, Keaton Bader on the floor for West. As Kadeem Strickland, we're working across the timeline, working right to left. Near the sideline, gives it to Victor Sanders. A high screen coming from Hall. Sanders comes around it, right at the top of the key, going to pull for a deep three and hit it. A three straight away for Victor Sanders, and Jefferson leads by four, 18-14. Under 30 seconds now in the quarter. Brandon Dixon through traffic, gives to Chad Sherwood. Right side to Bader, into the corner for Nate Sherwood, faking the three, comes back out to Dixon, now around to Chad, with 15 seconds in the quarter. Sherwood one-hands it right for Dixon again. Dixon operating way away from the rim with eight seconds. Takes the dribble, gives it to Bader, whipped inside for Nate Sherwood, tough catch by Nate, knocked away out of bounds by Jefferson, with 4.7 in the quarter, West will inbound underneath. You like, the, you like these opportunities here with the, with the, uh, <laughs> the clock? The clock was really Well, was the running. one opposite had stopped, and they were trying to catch it up to the one on the baseline. There's no way. <laughs> it was 11 seconds. <laughs> it's Sorry. all messed up here. The coaches are saying that the, the scoreboard is messed up, but the one on the baseline had run down to 4.7. It is correct. The one opposite had stopped. As out of this, West Albany is going to inbound on the baseline. And we've got nothing above us here. And now it just is Oregon High School Activities Association. 4.7 to go here in the first quarter. Starting to, say you, Reed. starting to say you love to get the out-of-bounds play underneath. Reed inbounds for Josh Bryant. Bryant backs in with three seconds. Got a man in the air. Drew a lot of contact. No whistle. And the horn's going to sound here to end the first quarter. So through one here in the quarterfinals, the OSAA U.S. Bank Les Schwab tires fight. Bay State Championships. It's Jefferson 18, West Albany 14. We'll take a break and return to 920 K Show. Willamette Community Bank is proud to support local high school sports, music, and scholastic programs. Hi, this is Kevin Thomas, Vice President with Willamette Community Bank. Be part of the team and get behind our schools and our future leaders, serving you with branches in Albany and Lebanon. Willamette Community Bank, service like no other, we promise. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Taking a detour down a gravel road isn't fun for you or your tires. Luckily at Les Schwab, along with great prices, all of our car or pickup tires come with the kind of protection most other places don't give you, like free flat repairs and more. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. Staying on top of your savings can be like staying on top of a mechanical bull <laughs> or an extreme ski slope. But U.S. Bank makes saving easy with Start. Savings today and rewards tomorrow lets you save slow. Yes. Or fast. Save $1,000, earn a $50 U.S. Bank Rewards Visa card. Keep the balance for a year and get another $50. Awesome. Start today at any U.S. Bank or usbank.com slash start. All of us serving you. U.S. Bank. Conditions apply. See the Start Program Agreement or a banker for details. Deposit products offered by U.S. Bank and a member of FDIC. It rose up out of the asphalt, pointing to the sky. Its razor-sharp point could have slayed a dragon. It was like a dagger, like a... Uh, yeah, it looks like you just ran over a nail. But don't worry, here at Les Schwab, every tire comes with a kind of lifetime protection most other places don't give you, like free flat repairs and more, plus a great price. That's our best tire value promise. Duly noted. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. It's the spring tire sale, one of our biggest sales of the year, now through April 30th. Unforgettable 920. Back here at the start of the second quarter with Victor Sanders getting down the lane and scoring for Jefferson. And the Democrats have opened up a six-point lead here early in the second quarter. 20 to 14, Jefferson. As Sawyer Reed brings it up the floor, angling right for West Albany. Needing a bucket. Bryant straight away gives left for Chad Sherwood. Silas Nelson in the defensive set. Sherwood lost him with a crossover. Goes to the fadeaway. Missed it short. Rebound to Nate Sherwood. He puts it back up off the window and in. And a much needed back at Really, really active on the offensive glass there by the Bulldogs. The Bulldog bigs. Josh Bryant getting a tip on that. Nate getting the bucket. Strickland using a high screen from Brown. Comes around at left. And feeds it around the perimeter for Nelson. 
Silas Nelson gets a screen from Hall. Pulls for a deep three. Missed it way short. And the rebound to Josh Bryant. Off to Chad Sherwood here. Just more than a minute into the second quarter. 20-16 Jefferson. Sherwood crossing over again on Nelson. Goes left of the block. Through a lot of contact. No whistle. They are just not calling anything. Long ahead Sanders ahead of the pack. Goes to the reverse. Missed it, but Nelson is there to slam it down on the follow. Silas Nelson with the putback dunk. And Jefferson leads by six. You wonder if at some point the officiating will change in this one because West has absorbed a lot of contact and now a reach and a foul will finally be called against the Democrats as they'll get Sanders for a reach on Nate Sherwood. Just the second foul on Jefferson. Now West only has two. It's not that it's been one-sided, but they're letting a lot go. You're going to get a lot, get, going to get the most experienced refs from each conference here at, at these games. But they are. There's a lot of contact going on and they're letting a lot of, a lot of things go. Only four team fouls have been called in this game. 6.30 to go here in the second. Josh Bryant on the perimeter. Feeds Nate Sherwood at the foul line. He's going to pull for a tough jumper and throws it in. Again thought he got bumped, but he hits the jump shot from just inside the foul line. 22-18, to 18, Jefferson. Pascal guarded by Schlegel. Gives to Melson. Melson working on the right wing. Brown coming to set a screen. Melson now gets Reed on the switch. So he'll get rid of it to Strickland. Strickland will fire from way out for three. Missed it short. Strong rebound for Jalen Schlegel. Pulled it right away from Quintus Hall. Yeah, to Sawyer Reed, racing into front court. Reed, right side for Chad Sherwood. Out behind the arc, waiting for some movement. Chad will scoop it back to the top for Reed. And Reed, looking, looking, looking. Still hasn't used a dribble. Now he will as he pushes right towards the sideline. Goes into the chest of Strickland. Comes down low for Nate on the right block. Double. Feeds Jalen Schlegel at the foul line. He'll take a step in. Go up and put it in with the right hand. Jalen Schlegel with a long stride, one step from the foul line, led to a finger roll. Can't get caught up in the frenzy that is Jefferson basketball. The Bulldogs, the last two possessions have gone down, been a lot more deliberate Nelson, in what they're trying to do. Nelson, an air ball from the right wing on a three. Scoops it to Nate Sherwood with Pascal all over him. Nate comes back out to Reed. Hill size up a deep three, and in and out, no good. Rebound, Josh Bryan underneath, goes back up, and cannot hit, but got fouled. Boy, Sawyer Reed's shot from way out on the right wing was halfway down. How does that not go? It Josh, was. It was halfway down. Pops out the Josh in the right place to grab that rebound. That offensive glass has been very kind to the Bulldogs. They're working hard. Josh Bryant at the line for two. One of two from the line so far tonight. Hey, we got our stats back. <laughs> Thanks to Brian Holman and to, and to Jeff for working hard to get our stats back. We still have no scoreboard above us, but thankfully there are multiple perimeter scoreboards here at Matthew Knight Arena. As Josh Bryant at the line for a second free throw that could tie it with 5-11 to go in the first half. Josh already with five rebounds in this game. But missing on the second free throw, so it remains a one-point Jefferson lead. Hayden Hall has returned for Jefferson. Victor Sanders from way downtown missed the three. And a long rebound chase down to midcourt by Strickland. Well, players seem to be falling in love with that deep, deep three here. They have a high school line that's painted on it. Now we're going to get a whistle and a timeout taken by Jefferson. But just to finish the thought, the high school line, the women's line, is painted on here. The college line, the men's line, just behind that. But we've seen three consecutive three-point attempts. One by Melson, one by Sanders, one by Reed. They'd have been from about five feet behind that line. <laughs> yeah, NBA range, no doubt. I tell you, Jefferson, they look like they're comfortable shooting the three. and They've hit some, but, uh, and, and uh, yeah, three-point shooting for... Uh, Jefferson well just two for eight 25 percent Bulldogs one for two whether you are buying a car consolidating bills or paying for one of life's unexpected surprises U.S. Bank has great rates on loans and lines of credit tailored to meet your needs stop in and see what U.S. Bank has to offer U.S. Bank all of us serving you member FDIC and a great thanks to a gentleman who we see just across from us in media lane Mitch Benedict for his continuing sponsorship of West Albany boys and girls in the postseason Mitch a couple of locations at U.S. Bank in Corvallis that you can visit Thanks to Mitch Benedict and U.S. Bank for their support. Jefferson with the ball up one. 4.43 to go in the first half. As Kadeem Strickland feeds Victor Sanders. Way out between the circles. Now back to Strickland. Nate Sherwood. The arms extended on him. Strickland to Pascal. Lobbed into the right corner for Sanders. Juggling in the catch. Had it knocked away by Jalen out of bounds. It'll stay with Jefferson. As Silas Nelson, after a very brief rest, will come back in. And Jamar J. Brown will check out. That wingspan of Jalen Schlegel able to poke that ball away. Reset here for Jefferson. Victor Sanders will inbound down to the right along the Bulldog bench. Sanders looks for help, comes up top for Nelson. Nelson directing traffic with the left hand. Waving players towards him, gets it to Pascal just in front of us. Nate Sherwood with the defense. 
Pascal, a couple dribbles with the left hand, comes to the right for Hayden Hall out behind the arc, now straight away from Nelson, left wing Strickland around the perimeter into the corner for Sanders. Sanders back out to Strickland, Jefferson, very patient possession, Strickland goes to the corner, Hall, now he'll launch a three and hit it from the corner, Hayden Hall with a three and Jefferson leads by four. Four minutes to go in the first half. Sawyer Reed pushed it in the front court right. Didn't wait for Jefferson to set a press. Gives it to Bryant. Now to Chad Sherwood. Bounced down low for Schlegel. Left block. Guarded by Sanders. Isolated there. Backs his way down. Got Sanders in the air. Put it up around him and missed. Rebound to Kadeem Strickland. Strickland ahead for Melson. You know, transition on the left wing. Crossing through Bryant. Up top, Hall. Looking for another three from straight away. And got another one. Back-to-back -back threes for Hall. And Jefferson has opened up a seven-point lead. Yeah, just quick ball movement by Jefferson. Bulldogs not able to get there in the rotation. Jalen Slagle left of the lane. Into Bryant. Knocked away out of bounds. And a foul coming. A whistle you could barely hear with the dip down to our right, but they'll get Kadeem Strickland for the half. Now Bryant will check out. Keaton Bader will return. For Strickland, his first, and Jefferson's fourth. 3.28 to go here in the second quarter. 28-21, Jefferson. Bulldogs, ball underneath their own hoop. Biggest deficit here for West Albany. The Sawyer Reed gets it guarded by Strickland. Coming to the top of the key. Picks up the dribble. Comes around to Chad Sherwood on the left wing. Now to Bader in the left corner. Victor Sanders poking at the ball. It's lobbed in through the hands of Slagle and into the hands of Pascal. A turnover. Up ahead, Strickland. Crossing over on Reed, right wing to the baseline. Through traffic, puts it up. Too strong. Rebound, Jalen Slagle. Jefferson missed a lot of shots inside, and West trying to take advantage now at the offensive end. As Reed pushes it towards the sideline, bounces it to Chad Sherwood, juggled in the catch, now wants to attack, pulls up for the jumper and hits it. A big jumper from Chad Sherwood, 28-23, Jefferson. One of the biggest improvements in his game is, is a mid-range jumper. Sorry, Wally, pace is picking up. Nelson coast-to-coast, -coast, missed in traffic. Bader tried to draw a charge, no whistle, and a rebound to West Albany. And Reed... Up ahead, we're going to get a whistle and an offensive foul on Jalen Schlegel underneath. His second. And Jalen not happy with the call. Got to be careful. Jalen did not care for that call. Very quick down low. Yeah, only four team fouls on the Bulldogs, but two of them are against the 6'8", Jalen Schlegel. Going to have to sit for the rest of the half. 2.39 to go here in the half. 28-23, Jefferson by five. Josh Bryant back in for the Bulldogs. It's along the front court. Bryant, Bader, Nate Sherwood. Chad Sherwood, Sawyer Reed, the other two. Hayden Hall, Victor Sanders, Silas Nelson, Devontae Pascal, and Kadeem Strickland. The starting five out there right now for Jefferson. Sanders, a backdoor lob for Melson, who throws it down on an alley-oop. Melson with the dunk. There's a little bit of the Jefferson pizzazz that we saw a couple years ago. 30-23, yep. to 23, Jefferson. That ball up, looks like a shot. Everybody freezes. Beautiful play. And power down by Melson. Chad Sherwood called for a walk as he skipped along the top of the perimeter. He had a little bit of danger time here for West Albany with 2.15 to go in the half. Now trailing by seven. Yeah. yeah, Jefferson starting to click a little bit on offense. Get a couple of defensive stops. Keep crashing the boards. Get in there. Get one and done for Jefferson. You can keep this. You've got to keep this at a single-digit deficit here. Victor Sanders to Devontae Pascal on the perimeter. He almost traveled. Got it to Strickland out between the circles. Now right for Sanders. Sanders guarded by Nate, drives all the way into the paint. Tough shot with the left hand, missed it. Rebound tipped and finally claimed by Bader. West Albany with it. Now momentary numbers as Sanders gambled in backcourt. Reed up ahead with a player coming from behind. Feeds Bader. Bader lobbed into Bryant. Bryant had it knocked away and stolen by Pascal on the run. Through traffic. Pascal, see if he throws it up. He'll get it back to Sanders who will blow the layup. Nelson tried to dunk and got stuffed. He puts up another shot that won't go and Pascal is there to follow. Timeout West Albany. Jefferson able to crash to the offensive boards, and they finally do convert to open up a nine-point lead, 32-23, with 1.33 to go in the first half. At Les Schwab Tire Centers, they are proud to be in business for over 50 years. With more than 400 stores throughout the West, there's a Les Schwab Tire Center close by. Les Schwab doing the right thing since 1952. Ryan Jefferson's got, uh, got 32 points in this game. They've got players that have 7, 6, 7, 7, and 3 points respectively they're spreading the wealth there at jefferson with this jefferson team they're uh, they're getting after it on the boards now that last couple times down the down the court really crashing the offensive glass getting getting some opportunities one on the put back dunk by jefferson they're making it look easy these last couple times down the floor the bulldogs keep their composure now they're down nine minute 33 to go got possession of the ball keep your composure you've played hard you've played well don't let this get away from you Court pressure from Jefferson out of the timeout. As Bader 
The end backcourt is bumped and fouled. Victor Sanders again gambling in backcourt will commit the foul. Just the fifth team foul on Jefferson. Yeah, Jalen Schlegel with two fouls will return here. A minute 29 to go in the half. Tell Jefferson just kind of smells blood here. They've taken this lead. They've taken the momentum from this game. Kind of sucked the life out of the West Albany fans here. Tell they smell blood. They want that double-digit lead at half. Brian inbounds to Reed backcourt. Jefferson will pull it back a little and go with the half-court pressure. As Reed pushes right. Feeds Bryant just inside the arc. Lobbed it down for Jalen. Dangerous pass. Jalen juggled it in. Lobs underneath for Nate. Had it knocked away and stolen underneath. By Hayden Hall. Up to Strickland. Now to Pesco on the run. Trailing to Strickland. It's stolen by Chad Sherwood. One-on-one -on -one to the goal with Hayden Hall. Tried to get Hall in the air and they'll call him for a walk. Tried to settle himself as Hayden Hall was closing from behind and they called Chad Sherwood for a travel. Yeah, Hayden Hall played that really, really nicely. And Chad knew he wasn't going to be able to go straight up with it. He was going to get swatted did the right thing to try and establish himself, maybe a pump fake, and then go up strong. Lost his footing there. Another Bulldog turnover. A defense for offense substitution. Keaton Bader in, Jalen Schlegel out to protect him with the two fouls. So we go under a minute in the first half. Jefferson leading 32-23. Eight turnovers for the Bulldogs in the first half. One for Jefferson. Wow. Here's Kadeem Strickland around a high screen, doubled, goes left for Melson along the baseline, skips past Bader, missed the finger roll, and the rebound to Josh Bryant, a gift there. Up ahead to Chad Sherwood in front court with 37 seconds in the first half. Play called from Coach Zimmerman down to our right as Chad crosses over on Melson up top, scoops it to Sawyer Reed, they close out on him, Reed lobs it way underneath for Nate Sherwood, a tough catch, he gets open and lays it in. Dangerous pass, great catch by Nate. He was wide open for the layup. Yeah, nice job of hanging with that as the defender was coming over trying to grab it. Defender took some chances there. Easy bucket then once he hit, established his feet for Nate. 32-25, Jefferson. Final 11 seconds of the first half. Victor Sanders driving to the baseline. Floating jumper way short. Rebound, Nate Sherwood loose and out of bounds to West Albany. With 5.4 in the half, the Bulldogs a chance here to get what could be a huge bucket, down seven. Backcourt pressure here from Jefferson. Schlegel back in. As Bryant will inbound, Reed and Schlegel in backcourt with him. They get it to Jalen. Turns and goes with three seconds. With two seconds, Jalen will fire from way downtown and miss it off to the right. And we'll go to the locker room with Jefferson leading West Albany 32-25, to the final quarterfinal of the night here at Matthew Knight Arena. The Democrats I-7 here at 920 K-Show. The mission of Now Builders is treat every job like it's their only job, no matter how big or small, and they don't stop until their customer is 100% satisfied 100% of the time. Check out their portfolio of fine work at nowbuilders.com. Call Now Builders at 541-926-2858. Figaro's in Albany now has the ultimate super combo and the ultimate super meat, only $16.99 or $17.99 baked. Albany Figaro's in front of Fred Meyer. And ask about their gluten-free crust, 541-924-9303. Building a home? Remodeling? Spring a leak? Think Brass Plumbing. Prompt quality service at affordable rates. Whatever your plumbing needs, including disasters, count on Brass Plumbing. Call 926-2727 for brass plumbing. Looking to save money on lighting fixtures? Larry and Marge Tomlin, owners of J&J &J Electric, invite you to compare prices, but don't buy until you've seen the high quality and low prices at J&J. &J. Visit their spectacular showroom. The hometown folks at J&J &J Electric appreciate your business. J&J &J Electric, South Pacific and 22nd in Albany. Need extra money? H&R Block offers the Everland Advance, a line of credit up to $1,000 that you can start using today. No W-2 required. Stop by a participating office to apply or call 1-800-HR-BLOCK to learn more. H&R Block, Everland Advance, line of credit offer through H&R Block Bank. Member FDIC, a participating office, subject to credit approval, free supply, see H&R Block slash Everland Advance for details. 2012 HRB Tax Group Incorporated Offer, January 15, 2013. OVTP, May 15, 15 Hi, this is Serena at your neighborhood H&R Block in Albany, Lebanon, Corvallis. Call us today at 541-928-6432 and see what it means to never settle for less when it comes to your taxes. Unforgettable 920. Welcome back here to Matthew Knight Arena. State quarterfinals here at 5A. Jefferson 32, West Albany 25. Before, during, or after the game in Albany, you can grab a hot and ready $5 pizza at Little Caesars. That's across from the mall on Geary Street, the new and only Little Caesars in Albany. And Farmers Insurance is the right choice for auto insurance, home, life, business, boat, RV insurance, and a whole lot more. Your local farmers experts are Roland Brower and Tim Finley on 9th across from Mark Thomas Motors in Albany 
Go Bulldogs. Well, the Bulldogs will have to go in the second half. They are hanging around, though. Jefferson would have been a big favorite coming into this game. Bulldogs had a couple of early leads. Just a little bit of distance in the second quarter for Jefferson. They opened up as big as a nine-point lead. It's now seven in intermission. The West is right there, Willie. Yeah, they're playing well and, and uh, really doing a lot on the glass. Bulldogs out rebounding Jefferson by uh, by about six rebounds there in the first half. The key to this first half for the Bulldogs has been the turnovers. Ten turnovers there in the first half. A couple of them late. Jefferson has been able to turn those turnovers into, into points, and that's the difference in this game. Jefferson with only three turnovers in, in this game had one very, very late in the first half and then had a couple late ones there. But uh, really, turnovers are the key. If, the, if West can limit those turnovers, Jefferson very good at getting their hands when the Bulldogs get the ball into the to the Bulldog big, Schlegel, uh, Nate Sherwood, Josh Bryant, when they get the ball in there, Jefferson's poking at the ball. They're, they're coming after the ball. They're, if you bring the ball down, they're going to get their hands on it. They, they're very good at getting their hands in the passing lanes in West Albany. If they can limit those turnovers and not allow Jefferson to sprint the other way to get points off of turnovers, this could be a very close game at the end of the game. Get it into the late night here in Eugene at Matthew Knight with Jefferson leading West Albany 32-25. to Just to kind of update you on what's ahead here for our broadcast, it gets very complex depending on wins or losses, but a loss here by West Albany would put them into the consolation round. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but the breakfast bracket is not something that you want to be in. That's what the consolation bracket is. West would play tomorrow morning at 10.45 against Milwaukee if they cannot come back. If they do win here tonight, they would get a day off, come back, and play Friday night at 8.15 against Silverton. We do know that the girls are set to go tomorrow night at 8.15 against Corvallis. That one is set in stone. And then, of course, their schedule after that becomes in flux, depending on wins or losses. But we'll be here for all of them, no matter what. So a loss uh, tonight means we'll be back with you tomorrow morning. A win tonight means we'll join you again tomorrow night from Matthew Knight. It's a lot of nights here in Eugene, and it gets somewhat confusing. But this has become our third home here over the last couple of years. For me, I have a, a home here in Eugene. I've got the home at West Albany High School, and now the home here at Matthew Knight. It's always great to be here courtside, and West Albany has not disappointed anybody in this first half. I expected maybe to see a little bit of nerve, some wide eyes. I didn't see that early on. No, you saw a game face is what you saw. West Albany I, I was watching for it when they were going through their warm-ups. They looked focused. They didn't look like they were uh, intimidated by the arena here or the atmosphere or the a the, the fact that they were... Uh, that, that they're part part of the final aid here with with uh, in this state tournament it's just it's one of those things where they this is a seasoned group got a lot of leadership on this team and and uh, you know when you talk about Sawyer Reed and Jalen Schlegel and, and Chad Sherwood the rest of these seniors on this team they have a calming effect especially Sawyer Reed you know that he has set the tone for this team you know he was calm in the locker room you know that he was inspiring in warm-up Everything just kind of centers around his mood and how he handles himself on the floor. He's a great leader, and, and you're absolutely right. This group was not intimidated. Came out, hit the first bucket of the, of the game. Chad Sherwood driving the lane, getting the early bucket, which I think was huge for the Bulldogs. You didn't want to see him come out 0 for 3, 0 for 4, 0 for 5. You never do. But, but especially in an in a, in arena like this, in a, in, a, uh, in, a, in a matchup like this, you want to be able to get off early, and the Bulldogs did just that. Obviously, this game is huge for the city of Albany. I've only been a Bulldog now for eight years, but I, it's easy to understand how much this means to the community to be back here at the state tournament. And the turnout from some former players. We saw Logan Grossman up in the bleachers here before the game behind us. I see Jackson Metzger and Bryce Wells in the stands. Several former West Albany players here in attendance. Yeah, there, there are. It's it's great for the whole community and you know that those guys are very proud of what West Albany has been able to do this season and I know that we do need to say a hello to somebody who is listening from a great distance Bobby Schuler told us before the game Spencer Reed listening in Chicago in Chicago he's in school there and and I believe it's med school is it? I, I can't say that definitively but I think that it is med school Spencer Reed want to say hi to him all the way in Chicago maybe snowed in right now I know that the snow made its way through the Midwest and back to the east so if you're stuck somewhere spencer with a laptop we appreciate you being along as west albany trails by seven at halftime let's go ahead and get it to jeff kiter here as jeff will put the headset on and have our first half statistics i say this every year once we get to this site jeff but reaching the state tournament is an accomplishment for you too because it means you can put away the stat book you can put away the ipad and the osaa does it all for you nicely printed stats right in front of your face and 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 i thank them every year <laughs> yes it, it gives me an opportunity to really enjoy the game but uh, 
it's always nice to give some numbers back uh, at halftime at the end of the game. Yeah. So, uh, uh, in the first half, um, West Albany ended up shooting 40, almost 46% from the field. They were 11 of 24. Uh, also was one of three from three-point range and two of four from the free throw line. Uh, Jefferson uh, shot 41%. They were 13 of 32 from the field, four of 10 from three-point range and two of two from the free throw line. Uh, West Albany was uh, led in scoring with, uh, with nine points. Chad Sherwood it was four of eight uh, from the field, including one of one from three-point range. Uh, Nate Sherwood had eight points. Josh Bryant, two. Jalen Schlegel had six points, and uh, that was a scoring uh, for the uh, for the uh, Bulldogs in the first half. Uh, Jefferson really balanced scoring. Uh, Victor Sanders had seven, Hayden Hall six, Silas Melson had seven, Kadeem Strickland seven, and Devante uh, uh, Pascal had five. A couple interesting numbers. Uh, West Albany had 16 points in the paint. Jefferson had 14 points in the paint. Uh, Jefferson also had eight points off of uh, West Albany's 10 turnovers. West Albany wasn't able to convert any points off of the three turnovers by Jefferson. Uh, West Albany had six second chance points. Jefferson, seven uh, second chance points. Uh, and then really quickly, foul trouble. Not too bad. Josh Bryant, uh, or excuse me, Jalen Schlegel has two fouls. Chad Sherwood, one. Uh, and that's it in the first half for the Bulldogs. Uh, Jefferson, Victor Sanders has two personal fouls, and Jamarte Brown has uh, two personal fouls as well. Uh, great first half, very entertaining, and uh, hopefully uh, West Albany can hang in there and uh, make something happen in the second half. We're going to cross our fingers. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. It's Jeff Kider with our first half stats. For West Albany, this is their 17th appearance in the state tournament. Their last one was in 1991. And that year, of course, they finished as the number two team in the state. Lost to Wilson High School in the state championship, 104-87. to It is still the highest scoring state championship in Oregon history. The interesting tie there is that Damon Stoudemire was, of course, the point guard for Wilson. In the backcourt, Damon, Stoud Damon Stoudemire excuse me, replaced Pat Strickland as the point guard for Wilson High School. Pat Strickland is now the coach here for Jefferson. And it was Coach Strickland that led Wilson to an undefeated state championship in 1989. But in 1991, the Bulldogs finished second in the state. There were other trophies came in when they finished third in 1983 with Dwayne Barrett as the head coach. And fourth in 1955, and I mentioned this in the Eagle Point game, the way back in 1955, the Bulldogs finished fourth in the state. And the reason I bring it up now, their coach that night was Tom Holman. <laughs> so that is a prolonged way of saying hello to the Holmans. Yeah, very good. Tom and Lois, I'm sure, listening at home. And uh, Brian, immediately to our left here, got us all set up tonight too so thanks to him and just one more tie between jefferson and west albany pat strickland went on to play collegiately at oregon state where one of his college teammates was jd vetter of course the all-time leading scorer for west albany one of the all-time leading scorers in the state of oregon at the high school level and something that i'm sure that you told me at some point but i had forgotten until i read it that he is the uncle yes. of samantha and ashton signer yes tina signer's brother yep and samantha if I may just continue on this tangent, was... <laughs> Please do. She was selected as one of the, the models when Oregon State released their new uniform scheme this past week. I watched it on osubeavers.com, and they brought out each sport individually. And when they brought out the women's basketball team, there was Samantha Signer. So West Albany kind of all over the place in what has been a big week here for the Bulldogs. 32-25 Jefferson as we start the third quarter. West with possession. And they will now work at the rim down to our right, adjacent to their bench. He yeah, has the starting five back out for West. Reed, the Sherwoods, Bryant, and Schlegel. Chad around the screen from Bryant. Dumps to the baseline for Nate. Has Hayden Hall right in his face. Comes back out top for Chad. Skips it left for Reed. And Reed bounces it to the high post for Schlegel. Looking inside and threw it right to Pascal. Yeah, he wanted Nate to flash to the rim, and Nate didn't move. Up ahead, Melson through traffic. Back to the top of the key for Sanders. Victor Sanders with left-hand dribble. Crossing to the right. Got around Reed. Pull-up jumper short. Rebound, Jalen Schlegel. That shot adjusted by the wingspan of Nate Sherwood. Jalen Schlegel got the board. Reed bounces it left for Nate on the wing. Thinking about the three. Now one dribble and a bounce pass to Chad straight away. Shaking on Strickland. Comes right for Reed. Reed again straight away to Chad. To the foul line. Dumps it underneath for Bryant. Josh pinned underneath through traffic. Brought it down. Had it ripped. And we're going to get a jump ball with the possession arrow to Jefferson. 
Aiden Hall and Josh Bryant tie it up. Democrats with possession, 7-10 to go in the third. Nice feed into Josh there down at the low block, but he had his feet wrong, wasn't he wasn't able to, to go up strong with it. Brought the ball down. Disastrous from there. Just under a minute into the third quarter. The halftime score is still intact. 32-25, Jefferson. Kadeem Strickland at the point. Goes right for Sanders, right with Nate Sherwood. Sanders around a hall screen, now around a Pascal screen, a double screen, and then Chad Sherwood grabs Sanders' jersey and will be called for the foul. You know, I think the Bulldogs can stand a little bit more aggression here in the second half. Only four team fouls on the Bulldogs there in the first half. I think you'll see them get after a little bit more, maybe a little bit more of what we just saw from Chad, taking some chances defensively, trying to get the hands on the ball. Kadeem Strickland works all the way to the left wing off the inbound. Looking underneath, now comes to the perimeter for Melson, straight away between the circles, right for Sanders. Here to the right corner for Pascal on the attack, through the paint, had it stripped away, and stolen by West Albany. Chad got it off to Reed. Reed behind the back with the dribble, guarded by Strickland. Couple of guards under six feet, Reed and Strickland. As Chad Sherwood, the left blocks, pulls for the jumper, around and off, no good. Rebound on the baseline to Jefferson, pulled down by Melson. On the race up the right sideline to front court, he goes behind the back, crosses over on Sherwood, goes to the corner for Sanders. Sizing up Nate Sherwood, comes straight away for Hall. Faking the three, drives around Schlegel, had it stripped away and stolen by Reed on the deflection. Still 32-25 Jefferson, 6-10 to play in the third. Reed, no look into the middle for Schlegel, who lays it in. Sawyer Reed from midcourt, looked to the side and threw it underneath. And, he, and that pass was successful because he looked it off. Jalen knew that was coming to him. That's great nonverbal communication right there between the two of them. First points in the third quarter come two minutes in, 32-27 Jefferson. Sanders around the screen to the top, guarded by Reed on the switch. Sanders with a big height advantage, goes to the right corner for Pascal, guarded by Nate Sherwood, went right through him into the left corner for Hall. Hall spinning on Bryant, comes up for Sanders, thought about the three, now will back it out. Victor Sanders angling left, uses a screen from Hall, bounces it around the perimeter for Strickland into the corner for Pascal, fake the three, comes back out to Strickland who will fire a three, missed it short, rebound to Sawyer Reed. Bulldog bench exhorting the Bulldogs to go. As Reed comes up ahead of Chad Sherwood, sets for three left wing, short. Rebound, Jalen Schlegel to keep it alive. Jalen in the corner for Nate. Back to Chad, and straight away for Reed. Bulldogs keeping it alive on the offensive rebound. Chad Sherwood around the perimeter, right back to Reed between the circles. Looking left, comes to the middle for Schlegel. On the left elbow, had it knocked away and stolen by Kadeem Strickland. On the run, Jefferson with numbers. Strickland all the way through traffic, puts it up and in with a foul. Big turnaround there. West, a couple of chances to chip into the five-point lead. Instead, Jefferson could push it to eight if Strickland can convert the free throw. Yeah, and the Jefferson had all the numbers on that play. Sawyer Reed gets back defensively, but not able to position himself to draw a charge. A lot of weapons coming at him on that play. Strickland takes it strong to the rim. Little adjustment on the shot. Chance for the three-point play. Free throw up and good. With everything you hear about Silas Nelson and Victor Sanders for Jefferson, it's Ben Kadeem Strickland who really has been their most impressive player here tonight. An eight-point lead for Jefferson, 35-27 with 4.48 to go in the third. Nate Sherwood underneath for Jalen Schlegel. Got a man in the air, got hammered, and finally a foul as Jalen went up. Two free throws coming for Jalen, who does not seem bashful about going up underneath against these big Jefferson no, inside no, players. No, he does it. I tell you, what's, what's really funny, I'm watching, watching Hall and Jalen go after verbally up and down the floor here the last couple times. I don't know what Jalen said, but Hall started crack it up. Jalen Schlegel to shoot two. Sets for the first, releases, and hits. Sub in for Jefferson for the first time. Gabe Garrett will check in. Victor Sanders will take a seat. Yeah, Schlegel ready for a second, trying to get the Bulldogs back to within six. 4.44 to go in the third quarter. Free throw on its way. Too strong. Rebound Jefferson with Nelson. 35-28. Democrats by a touchdown with 4.40 to play in the third. Nelson, high out right for Strickland. Into the middle for Garrett. Garrett pushing right, back out to Strickland. Faking the three splits, a double team puts it up. Too strong, rebound Jalen Schlegel. Jalen up ahead to Chad Sherwood, who slipped but kept his balance. And pulled it back out on the wing. Very close to a turnover. Up ahead, Reed. Right back, Chad Sherwood on the left side. Puts it on the deck. Pulls up, drops down under for Schlegel, who puts it in. And the Bulldogs are within five at 35 to 30. Presence of mind of Jalen Schlegel to take that, not bring that ball down, go straight up with it, almost like an alley-oop on the feed from Chad. 
nearing the midway point of the third quarter. Bulldogs will not go away. Pascal on the drive all the way through. Finger roll good in the lane. Nifty move from Pascal accelerating through traffic. 37-30 Jefferson. So you read. Calls the play as he pushes to the right. Lobs it up top for Nate. Nate with the catch. Back up top for Reed. To the right for Chad. Hall and Nelson on a double team there. Hall's all over Sherwood. Chad drives through. Kicks it out to Nate for three left wing. Too strong. Rebound Jalen Schlegel. Good offensive rebound. Jalen back through traffic. Puts it up with the right hand and in. No way Hall stays with him on that. Too good a footwork by Jalen. 37-32. Back to a five-point game. Nice move by Jalen Schlegel up and under with the finger roll. Nelson to the baseline. Pulls up for the jumper and hits it. Silas Nelson silencing the Bulldogs down to our right. 39-32, Jefferson. Coach Strickland wanted a timeout after that bucket. Didn't get it. Jalen Schlegel, left elbow catch. Backs in on the blocks. Goes through traffic. Puts it up. No, but a foul as Garrett got him across the arm. And two free throws coming for Schlegel. Jalen Schlegel really starting to assert himself now. He wants the offense to run through him now on the offensive end. He's fired up after that last great move to the bucket. Jalen already with 13 points in this game. Nine boards. Keaton Bader getting ready to check in. Here's Jalen Schlego at the free throw line. Having a very nice third quarter. West Albany trying to stay in it, trailing by seven. As Schlegel prepares himself for the first free throw, which is around and off. No good. It is Josh Bryant who will take a seat with Bader checking in. Very, very... Uh, <laughs> I lost my thought. Very short rotation off the bench for Coach Zimmerman tonight. Yeah, they've really shortened the bench. West have been going 12 and sometimes 13 deep in the later stages of the regular season. Jalen's second free throw is good. The lead again is six for Jefferson, 39-33. With three minutes to play in the third quarter. Silas Nelson guarded by Bader and a hand check on Bader as Nelson drove inside. It'll be Jefferson ball on the side. Third team foul on West Albany. For Keaton Bader, his first foul. Well, they don't put uniform numbers up on the board here anywhere, so I have to listen to the PA for individual foul numbers. As Strickland takes the inbound in backcourt, now weaves right to left in front court, guarded by Chad Sherwood, coming around a screen from Hall. Gets it back out to Melson. Guarded by Nate Sherwood, steps to the arc, now kicks it back around to Strickland. Strickland on the deck with the left hand, one hands it around to Melson. Thought about the deep three, Bader closes out. Melson still sizing it up, puts it on the deck. Drives to the baseline, dishes it off for Garrett, who sets it up and in. Gabe Garrett with a little bit of a set shot from the baseline, but he puts Jefferson back up eight. Yeah, and that dribble penetration into the paint is deadly. Anytime Jefferson's been able to get the ball into the high post or penetrate into the paint, it's been tough for the Bulldogs to defend it. Lego right wing with the catch. Lobbed into Chad Sherwood in traffic. Puts it up and in. Boy, tough got catch. hammered, And too. a tough shot on the baseline for Chad. 41-35, Jefferson. Strickland. Up ahead for Nelson in front court as the Democrats beat the trap. Nelson again uses a high screen. Kicks to the corner for Strickland. Open for three. In and out, no good. Sawyer Reed claims the rebound. Bulldogs a chance to trim the six-point lead. Reed directing traffic, bounces it for Nate. Open three right side. Good! He hit it. It's a three-point game at 41-38. 1.40 to go in the third quarter. A big hit from Nate Sherwood. And what a big bucket that is for Nate. Build that confidence here for the rest of this half. A minute and a half to play in the third quarter. Bulldogs back to within three. Nelson dancing on the perimeter in the corner. Reed right with him. Out to Hall. Hall to the middle for Garrett, juggles in the catch, spins, drives inside, puts it up, and missed. Rebound to Jalen Schlegel. Bulldogs with numbers if they hurry. Now they'll pull it back and play five on five. Down three with a minute 15 in the third quarter. Bulldogs with possession. Chad Sherwood to the left elbow for Jalen Schlegel. Jalen sizing up Hall, wants to drive inside, puts it up and missed it, but got fouled. And Jalen Schlegel continuing to be aggressive here in the third quarter will be into line for two. Jalen's just working Hayden Hall right now. They've been jawing back and forth. You know that, that Jalen's taking a little bit personally here. Little verbal communication going on between the two. The referee coming over, having a chat with Jalen, saying, all right, you know, you can have a little bit of that, but let's not let that get out of control. I do not know Jalen well. I've only seen him play, but I get the feeling that most of that is for his own benefit. He's not trying to show anybody up. He's not trying to be a hothead. 
But he's trying to pump himself up, and he misses the first free throw. Yeah, he uh, he absolutely he, he's a fiery competitor. Just watch his dad. Just <laughs> yes. watch, you know, seriously, Kevin is is uh, probably the mo one of the most competitive people I've ever known in my life, and and Jalen certainly has gotten some of that uh, that genetic pool right there. Missed the first free throw. One more for Jalen. Try and make this a two-point game. He sets, releases, and hits. 41-39. The Bulldogs within a bucket here with one minute to play in the third quarter. We got a ball game. Strickland across the timeline straight away. Angles to the right. Feeds Nelson behind the arc. Hall coming to set a screen. Nelson comes around at left. Now a double screen. Around to the right it goes for Strickland. Back up top, Nelson. Nelson on the drive through, pass deflected and stolen by Nate Sherwood. Bulldogs with the ball down two. Reed with 38 seconds in the quarter. Up ahead for Chad Sherwood. Chad around the top of the key, drives into the paint, scoops into the corner for Nate, fakes the three through traffic, got bumped on the way up and more free throws coming here for West Albany. Two shots for Nate Sherwood if he hits both will be tied. With 29.6 to go in the third quarter. Abs Sorry, Wally, well, I've got to get these <laughs> no in. Problem. You, you want the latest information on your favorite high school teams? Log on to OSAA.org and the OSAA Score Center. The OSAA Score Center has scheduled scores and official rankings for all member schools in all team sports. At OSAA.org, you'll also find playoff brackets, maps, broadcast schedules, and historical records. For more information, visit OSAA.org. As you might surmise from the ovation in the background, Nate Sherwood connecting on the first free throw. One more that could tie this quarterfinal game with 29.6 to go in the third. No intimidation by the Bulldogs. No fear in this game. Setting up to be a great fourth quarter. Free throw too strong. Nelson almost tipped the rebound out of bounds, but claimed it. And the Democrats with a one-point lead and the ball. See if they play for the final shot of the third quarter. That seems to be their intent as Nelson takes it out near midcourt. Right near again, that green O out there at center circle. Nelson to Strickland with 12 seconds in the quarter. Bulldog students making a lot of noise. Strickland using a Hayden Hall screen with four seconds. At the top of the key. Lost the handle out of bounds. It will go to stay with Jefferson somehow. Oh, my. With one second in the quarter. Now, Strickland, I thought, got fouled. But if he wasn't fouled, he pushed that ball out of bounds yeah, with his left hand. So Jefferson... We'll have a chance with one second to get a shot off. Inbound Strickland. He's going to heave a three short, and we will go to the fourth quarter. Does anybody have the cardiac capacity to handle this one? 41-40 Jefferson will head to the fourth quarter in the quarterfinals at 9-20. Keisha. Staying on top of your savings can be like staying on top of a mechanical bull or an extreme ski slope. But U.S. Bank makes saving easy with Start. Savings today and rewards tomorrow lets you save slow. Yes. Or fast. Save $1,000, earn a $50 U.S. Bank Rewards Visa card. Keep the balance for a year and get another $50. Awesome. Start today at any U.S. Bank or usbank.com slash start. All of us serving you. U.S. Bank. Conditions apply. See the Start program agreement or a banker for details. Deposit products offered by U.S. Bank and a member FDIC. It was as wide as the Grand Canyon, as deep as the Mariana Trench. I plunged into the chasm, into the endless abyss, into the... Uh, actually, you just drove into a pothole. But don't worry, here at Les Schwab, every tire comes with a kind of lifetime protection most other places don't give you, like free flat repairs and more, plus a great price. That's our best tire value promise. Ooh, good to know. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. It's the spring tire sale, one of our biggest sales of the year, now through April 30th. Unforgettable 920. 41 to 40, Jefferson, as we start the fourth quarter. Ryan Pitts, Wally Ordeman, and Jeff Kiter here courtside at Matthew Knight Arena. The OSAA U.S. Bank, Les Schwab Tires, 5A State quarterfinals with West Albany trying to take the lead on the initial possession of the fourth quarter, and instead they will turn it over. Stripped by Strickland into the hands of Quintus Hall, and in front court, they're calling for a carry. And a turnover on Jefferson, so dueling turnovers in the first 16 seconds of the quarter. I was just going to ask, ask for some Jackson mojo. Grandson Jackson listening at home. I'll say hi to Jack. Mackenzie, daughter-in-law, listening as well, as well as the other grandkids. Send some mojo, Jack. Give us something good. Hey, okay, Josh Bryant, right elbow with the catch. Out to Chad Sherwin on the perimeter. All creeping out. Now Melson on a switch. Great pass to Bryant, who could not finish. The rebound loose into the corner. Nate Sherwood will keep it alive. Now stepped out of bounds. Oh, what a pass by Chad Sherwood to Bryant, who could not finish underneath. <laughs> Chad, just a little sly grin. 
Chance to take the lead with a bucket there. Josh just not Boy. quite able to get it to fall. We had a perfect view of that, and that was as good a pass as you will see. Strickland up to Melson. Opening minute, fourth quarter, 41-40, Jefferson. Melson guarded by Reed. Spins inside, kicks to the corner for Pascal. Open three, short. Rebound to Nate Sherwood. Bulldogs another chance here to take the lead. Reed pushes it ahead with one minute gone in the fourth quarter. Kadeem Strickland in the defensive crouch, right there with Reed, who pushes to the right corner, gives to Schlegel. Schlegel inside, Nate Sherwood went up, got blocked, got fouled. In two free throws coming, the Bulldogs can take the lead with 6.52 to go. Going to be the fifth team foul on Jefferson here, 6.52 to go in the game. Bulldogs down one. Nate with an opportunity to give the Bulldogs their second lead of the game. At Les Schwab Tires, they know buying tires today means more than just price. It includes service, selection, quality, and value. This is why dollar for dollar, tire for tire, Les Schwab is the tire store you can trust. Les Schwab Tires, proud sponsor of the OSAA championships and doing the right thing since 1952. Nate Sherwood missing on the first free throw. Bulldogs with some struggles from the line here in the second half. And, and, sorry, Ryan, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say Nate could tie it here with the second with 6.52 to go. Five team fouls on Jefferson, just three on West, and Nate does tie it. Brand new ball game with 6.52 left, 41 all. As Jefferson will bring it up the floor with Kadeem Strickland. Strickland pushes left, gives it to Harper. Back in, or Hart Sanders, rather, after a long break. Sanders through traffic, throws up a wild shot, missed it. Rebound tipped away from Jalen Schlegel. Controlled by Hall. He misses through the fingertips of Nelson and back to Sanders. Sanders along the baseline, around Bryant. And a call, a bump and a foul on Josh Bryant. Boy, what an exchange that was. Jefferson with several, several opportunities right near the rim. Couldn't get anything to fall. Ball gets kicked out. Josh with the foul against the baseline there. Only the fourth team foul on the Bulldogs here in this half. <laughs> Sanders will inbound. Taking a lot of time. Comes way out for Strickland on the right side. Chad Sherwood with him. Strickland around Sherwood. Nifty dribble all the way through. Puts up a wild shot and missed it. Melson tried to tip and got fouled from behind. Yeah, Nate's going to get it. Melson was trying to power that one down with the dunk, and Nate Sherwood prevented that. He'll make Melson earn it at the line with two free throws. Both teams really getting after it on the glass now, Ryan. Bulldogs really crashing the offensive glass, and, and Jefferson's matching suit there at their end, really getting after it. It's the first foul on Nate Sherwood, the fifth on West Albany, even in team fouls, five apiece. Nelson's first free throw up and good. Jefferson retakes the lead, 42-41, with 6.23 left. Each team with four timeouts left, as that will start to come into play to come down the stretch. Nelson's second free throw, also good. 43-41, Jefferson. Bryant inbounds against some full-court pressure. Gets it into Schlegel. Sanders coming back to meet him. Schlegel scoops it to Reed, and Reed will push it ahead across the timeline. Bouncing it to Jalen Schlegel at the foul line. Underneath, knocked away, and chased down by Jefferson. A turnover. Just a half-second late with the pass. Didn't recognize Nate was open quick enough. Kadeem Strickland, a slow right-hand dribble. Now crosses it to the left straight away. Goes right for Pascal. Guarded by Nate Sherwood. Pascal with the left hand around the high screen. Bounce to Sanders. Out along the right sideline. Sanders puts it on the deck. And we're going to get a blocking foul on Nate Sherwood. Much to the dismay of my co-commentators oh, and West Albany head coach Todd Zimmerman. You, do not make me come out there. Nate Sherwood trying to absorb the charge. And we're going to get a timeout taken by Jefferson. A 60-second break. So we'll take it to 43-41 Jefferson. 5.52 to go here on K-Show. The short drive to Corvallis will save you time and money. This is Steve Buckner from Wilson Motors, inviting you to experience the notable difference at Wilson Motors, 5th and Buchanan in Corvallis. Check us out at saveatwilson.com. Making life easier and more productive, that's what Lynn Benton Tractor can do for you. And it all begins by discovering how the full line of Kubota equipment can help. Highway 99E, Tangent. Unforgettable, 920. 43-41, Jefferson with a lead on West Albany. 5.52 to go in the game. This is the final quarterfinal. Session 2, Game 2 here at the 5A State Tournament. 
Churchill and Mountain View won the first two games of the day. Churchill 82 to 61 over Sandy. Mountain View 49 39 over Wilsonville. So they move into the semis. They will play Saturday afternoon or Friday afternoon rather at 3:15. Friday night at 8:15. Silverton awaits the winner of this one. Silverton beating Milwaukee 55 to 47 in a game in which the Foxes pulled away late. So West trying to make it an all Middle Atlantic Conference semifinal on Friday night. But the Bulldogs trail by two with 5:50 left. Jefferson. With the lead in the ball as Kadeem Strickland takes it up top guarded by Reed. A crossover on Reed. As Strickland in the green O gives to Melson. And Melson's going to hold and slow things down a little bit here. Very unlike Jefferson. Yeah, spreading the floor. Going to try and get the Bulldogs spread out so far so they can drive the paint. Victor Sanders now retreats to midcourt and feeds left for Melson. Chad Sherwood all over him. Melson attacks, kicks it out to Hall. Take the three. Go to the right corner for Melson. All alone for three. In and out. No good. Rebound Hayden Hall, though. Offensive board. Back up top to Strickland. Jefferson will reset it. Right wing Sanders with 5'10 left. And Jefferson leading by two. Sanders retreats. And walked with it up top. A careless turnover by Sanders. As Victor Sanders was looking for help. And he wound up dragging his pivot foot. Turnover starting to kind of even out now. 15 for the Bulldogs. 8 for Jefferson. Jefferson with only three turnovers there in that first half. So you read. Up to Chad Sherwood. Under five minutes in the game. Jefferson leading by two. Bryant, right corner. Hall all over him. Up top for Reed. Got to get somebody to the high post. Reed hands it back to Chad Sherwood. Trying to get free. Drives into the foul line. Gets bumped and fouled. The final non-shooting foul of the night. Team foul number six on Jefferson. Is Chad Sherwood really pushing the issue as he put it on the deck. For Melson, just his first. And again, team foul number six on the Democrats. Bulldogs will be inbounding underneath. Sawyer Reed set to play it in. Sawyer comes way back up top, dangerous. Chad Sherwood up to get it, able to keep his feet planted. Comes around to Nate Sherwood's screen. Drives right of the lane, all the way. Tough shot, missed it. Rebound Hayden Hall. Chad on the attack, tough angle, could not finish. 43-41 Jefferson. But you like how the Bulldogs crashed the offensive glass. They didn't get it but they were coming after it. Four and a half to play here. Victor Sanders around Reed on the perimeter. Sanders out to Nelson. Nelson puts it on the floor, drives the left blocks, missed the shot, rebound Jalen Schlegel. The offense is really slowed here in the fourth quarter. 43-41, Jefferson. 4-10 to play. Reed, straight away, Chad Sherwood. Juggled in the catch, now puts it on the floor, drives all the way in, goes to the reverse and puts it in, we're tied. Chad Sherwood from the left side put it in with the right hand on the reverse. We're even at 43 with 3.55 to go. Presence of mind to go with the reverse on that after taking one to the noggin with the ball on the pass. Chad Sherwood. Strickland up top. Bounces it inside. Nice look for Pascal. Out to Sanders. Wide open three. Good. A big shot by Sanders from straight away. 46-43. Jefferson. Three and a half to go from Matthew Knight Arena. Reed to Chad Sherwood. It was being held on the catch. He had his jersey as he was trying to catch it on the outside. It goes out of bounds to Jefferson. And they just missed one right in front of their eyes there. A timeout taken by Jefferson. A 30 and we'll keep it here. Earn rewards, exclusive discounts, and preferred rates with a U.S. Bank package. Choose a silver, gold, or platinum checking and create a package with the features that are right for you. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. See Banker for details. Deposit products offered by U.S. Bank National Association N.A. member FDIC. And one more time, our thanks to Mitch Benedict for adding some sponsorship here in the postseason. Bulldog boys and girls making it here through the postseason. Our thanks to Mitch with a couple of locations at U.S. Bank there in Corvallis for your service. That's a big no call opposite us there a moment ago, Wally. Chad Sherwood trying to make the catch on the left wing was being held by the back of his jersey. That's why he couldn't get to the ball. It went out of bounds, and they call it a turnover. Yeah, it's a, it's a travesty that there wasn't any kind of call on that play. Bulldogs down seven at the half, have fought back to tie this game, and then the last trip down the floor for Jefferson, they nail the three. You can't let that be the backbreaker here. Got to play tough. Got to get a stop here. 320 to play. 46-43, Jefferson out of the timeout. Melson to Hall. All right, back to Melson. Bulldogs bring a double as Melson bumped, got it back, goes into the paint, kicks it out for Strickland, will reset it to Sanders. Sanders, one-on-one -on -one against Schlegel, got around him, kicks to the corner for Melson. One jab step inside the arc, now backs it out. Three minutes to play. Melson up top for Strickland, rifles it around to Sanders. Sanders maybe got away with a walk. 
And maybe got away with another one as he fires it right out of bounds. A turnover over the head of Melson. It sails out of bounds towards the Silverton coaches who are watching intently. And the Bulldogs will have it down three with 2.52 to go. Bulldogs are doing a good job of squeezing when they have the opportunity, bringing somebody else to trap against the side. Sawyer Reed being bumped up the floor by Strickland. Just does cross the timeline, angling right. Got to get Strickland off him, guys. As he'll feed Chad Sherwood along the baseline. There's a block and a foul, and Chad is going to be at the line for a one-and-one. One. Team foul number seven on Jefferson. As he'll get Silas Nelson for the block, that will be his second. So with the Bulldogs down three, Chad Sherwood will be at the line here for a one-and-one. One. Really got a question. I, I, you, we don't second-guess coaches, but really, Jefferson, Coach Strickland, pulling the ball out at a very early time in this quarter here four plus minutes to go is pulling the ball out trying to spread the Bulldogs out being very very deliberate which is not their game Chad Sherwood hitting the front end of the one and one and I'll say again seven years in 5A and Jefferson's rank second second first first tenth first and first in scoring so slowing it down is not their forte there's Chad missing on the second free throw. Bryant rips it away. The Bulldogs have it. Now a throw to the top. Nearly stolen. A mad dash for it. Scrambling the backcourt. And Reed will control. Bulldogs with the ball. Two and a half to go. 46-44 Jefferson. Three white jerseys and Josh Bryant. Josh comes up with it. Bulldogs finally settling the possession with Reed pushing right. Into the corner for Nate Sherwood. Out for Schlegel. Schlegel inside Bryant. Underneath. Right again. We're tied. Foul. Brian with a chance for a three-point play that could put the Bulldogs on top with 2.14 left. Have not seen so much of the high-low tonight, Ryan. That time worked to perfection with the high post. Nice dish to Josh Bryant, who had his man pinned down at the low block, or at the rim. Goes up strong, the bucket, and the chance to take the lead in this game. 2.14 to go. Josh Bryant trying to complete the three-point play. Free throw up and good. West Albany has the lead and a timeout taken by the Bulldogs. Do you believe this, Albany? 47-46 West with 2.14 to go. We will stay here during the timeout. Eight team fouls on Jefferson, six on West Albany, so both teams will be in the bonus. Two timeouts remaining for the Democrats, three for West Albany. What a battle here tonight by West. And Ryan, something I wanted to point out, as soon as I saw it and I completely missed it, Jalen Schlegel now has his double-double. 11 boards, 15 points in this game. For over 50 years, Mega Foods has been offering the best quality and taste, more than just a supermarket, also a good neighbor, Mega Foods in Lebanon and in Albany. You mentioned this ad from Going Postal, you'll receive 10% off your UPS or FedEx shipments in North Albany's Hickory Station, your friendly neighborhood shipping center, Going Postal, offering UPS, FedEx, and U.S. Postal Services. Jefferson out of the timeout with possession, Bulldogs 47, Democrats 46, coming down on two minutes to play for Matthew Knight Arena. Victor Sanders up top. Around a couple screens goes right for Strickland. Around another screen from Hall. Feeds Nelson. Nelson just left of the top of the arc. Working on Chad Sherwood. Crosses him over. Gets in the paint. Comes underneath for Pascal. Who had it blocked by Chad Sherwood. Got it right back. Puts it in. And are they going to say count this? I'm are not they sure who they got with the foul. Where's the foul? They got They'll Sawyer say, Reed. They'll say count the bucket. So Pascal with the layup and a chance for three. I didn't see much contact on the shot. No, I think Sawyer Reed probably was swatting at the ball down low after the after the rebound there. I was completely blocked off from Sawyer, but that's who they got with the foul. Jefferson retakes the lead. Chance to go up by two here with the bucket. Pascal with the, with at the, the line. Three. Free throw on its way. This is way short. An air ball short. And Pascal puts his hand on top of the fade atop his head. Maybe faded on the free throw. He had a little bit of a wry grin as he comes back. 48-47, Jefferson. Reed doubled, gives it to Bryant up ahead to Schlegel in front court. As Jalen holds along the sidelines, spins it back to Chad Sherwood. A minute 35 to go, Jefferson up a point now, 48-47. Chad Sherwood on the drive, through traffic, blocked out of bounds by Pascal as Sherwood hit the deck looking for a foul. It'll stay with West Albany. As a big block there from Pascal. All the time in the world here for the Bulldogs. They don't have to get a quick shot up. They're down one. Minute and a half to go here. You can be deliberate with your offense. Reed gets it inside for Bryant, who was being held. Loose it goes on the sideline. Bryant saves it. Back to Reed. Bulldogs got to settle it here. Reed, out between the circles, gives now to Chad Sherwood with a minute 20 to go. 48-47 Jefferson. 
Sherwood, double dribbles, now picks it up and goes to Reed. Reed bounces it left corner, Schlegel. Jalen up top, Nate, going to set for a three. Hit it! He got a three from up top. The Bulldogs lead by two. 50 to 48, coming down on one minute to play in Eugene. Everybody from West Albany on their feet. Pass ball along the baseline. Drew the foul and put it in, and we're tied. Jalen Schlegel trying to, when the ball was taken baseline, trying to draw the charge. It was the right call. Didn't quite get there. Trying to draw the charge. Tie game. Chance Jefferson to go up one with the free throw. And a friendly roll on the shot along the baseline from Pascal. Now at the line to try and put Jefferson back up a point. What a ball game. By far the best of the four quarterfinals here today. Pascal's free throw is good. And Jefferson goes back up a point with 55.6 left. 51 to 50 again. Full court pressure. As Sawyer Reed comes around to Bryant Screen. Across the timeline, working now left to right. Settles on the wing. Comes out between the circles for Sherwood. Left it goes to Nate Sherwood now. Nate to the foul line, stripped away and stolen by Sanders. Sanders all the way the other way, and he's fouled as he sprints to the rim. A one and one coming here for Victor Sanders. A big steal by Jefferson. And now a chance for the demos to increase a one point lead at the line. A one and one here, fortunate it's not two shots. All sorts of chances here, 36.9 to go here in this game. Bulldogs down one. So Sanders at the line, a one and one. With Jefferson up a point, 36.9 to go. Sanders settles, releases, and hits. Now the best he can do is make this a three-point game. Still would be a one-possession game. But if there is a miss, as you may be able to hear, you got to make sure you get a rebound and not allow a white jersey to get in there. Yeah, and only one, only white, one white jersey on the lane. Really surprising. Sanders' second free throw, too strong. Rebound, Jalen Schlegel. Bulldogs down two at the ball. 34 seconds to play. We're going to see a timeout. Sawyer Reed into front court. Or will we? Bulldogs will play for now. Chad Sherwood with 25 seconds left. Chad at the top of the key. Driving inside, has it ripped, got it back. Chad bounces it inside for Brian, who goes up, can't hit. Rebound Nate Sherwood, blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with West Albany with 16.1 to go. Quite a finish, Bruin here in Eugene, 16.1 to go. Jefferson leading 52 to 50. West Albany will be inbounding. Chad Sherwood, just to the left of the rim as he looks at it. To the right as we view it here. Down on our end, Jalen Schlegel right back down low to Chad. Double teamed, lost it out of bounds and off his knee. It will belong to Jefferson with 13.3 left. That was a dangerous spot to give Chad the ball. And Jefferson's going to want a timeout here. We'll take it to a one minute break and back for the finish. Jefferson by two here on K Show. Serving the Mid Valley for 37 years with collision, mechanical, glass, and RV repair, Pacific Auto Services is now Stavros Auto Services. Same people, same commitment to excellence, you've got their name on it. Call Stavros Auto Services at 541 926 7248. Buying or selling a home is one of the most important decisions you'll make in your lifetime. Delene Myers of Remax Integrity is dedicated to assisting you through every step of that process. Contact Delene at 974-3196 or Delene Myers at Remax.net. If you'd like to do it yourself or need helpful advice doing it, your neighborhood Ace Hardware and Contractor Center can help. Economy Supply Building Center has been that helpful place for over 58 years. Economy Supply Building Center, where Highway 34 becomes Tangent Street in Lebanon. Need some electrical work in your home or business, but it just seems like too small of a job to call the pros? No matter what the job, call City and Suburban Electric. Proud to be a contributing member of our community, City and Suburban Electric. Call 451-5609. Unforgettable 920. Welcome back here. 13.3 seconds to go. Jefferson leading by two will inbound against full court pressure. West Albany will have to foul and foul quickly as Hayden Hall gets it into Strickland, who is fouled immediately. Very quick foul as Chad Sherwood was trying to knock it away from Strickland. He was very close to swatting that one off Strickland out of bounds. It was a good play by Chad, but he'll be called for the foul. And now shooting two will be Kadeem Strickland, the son of the coach, a 5'9 sophomore. He's got a very nice shooting stroke here, 12.4 to go. The Bulldogs down two. 
That was the 10th team foul, two shots. Well, the Bulldog students making a lot of noise and a lot of movement. Unfortunately, it's at the basket opposite the one that Kadeem Strickland shoots at. Basically a wide open arena behind Strickland, whose free throw is good and cuts nothing but the net. Josh Bryant back in. Brandon Dixon had checked in very briefly. And yeah, we're going to get a timeout. Taken by West Albany here. Maybe to try and ice Kadeem Strickland a little bit. It's a good move. You don't want to take these timeouts into your into locker room here at the end of this game. Keep them in your hip pocket. Use those timeouts. The other, the other good use for a timeout is if you have the ball out of bounds and are needing to get the ball in, can't get, the, uh, can't get it in. You've got a cushion here with two timeouts left. For any occasion, you can enjoy a complete, affordable family dining experience at the Cascade Grill. That's on Knox Butte Road in Albany, the Cascade Grill. 12.4 seconds to go. Jefferson leading 53 to 50. One more free throw coming by Strickland, and this is a biggie because it could make it a two-possession game. West Albany had taken the lead down the stretch, and Jefferson has had the answer each time. All right, when you're facing one of the best teams in the state, you got to get all the breaks, and Jefferson has gotten quite a few down the stretch. Yeah, they have, and, and uh, certainly the referees, they don't want to control this game. They're letting a lot of things go. Coach Zimmerman, I'm sure, in the, in the, uh, in the huddle here, is, is giving two different scenarios. What happens if they make the free throw? What happens if they don't? If they don't make this free throw and West coming down, you don't have to have necessarily the first quick shot. If they do make the free throw, you've got to come down and get one early. Kadeem Strickland with his father, Pat, looking on from the bench. Trying to make this a four-point game with 12.4 left. Free throw is good. A huge free throw. 54 to 50. Chad Sherwood will sprint to front court. Through traffic all the way to the rim. Lays it in. Timeout West with 6.5 to go. 54-52. It's a full break, so we'll do it. One minute, and then we'll return to K-Show. 6.5 left. Bulldogs down two. Staying on top of your shavings can be like staying on top of a mechanical bull or an extreme ski slope. But U.S. Bank makes saving easy with Start. Savings today and rewards tomorrow lets you save slow yes. or fast. Save $1,000, earn a $50 U.S. Bank Rewards Visa card. Keep the balance for a year and get another $50. Awesome. Start today at any U.S. Bank or usbank.com slash start. All of us serving you. U.S. Bank. Conditions apply. See the Start Program Agreement or a banker for details. Deposit products offered by U.S. Bank and a member FDIC. It rose up out of the asphalt, pointing to the sky. Its razor-sharp point could have slayed a dragon. It was like a dagger, like a... Uh, yeah, it looks like you just ran over a nail. But don't worry, here at Les Schwab, every tire comes with a kind of lifetime protection most other places don't give you, like free flat repairs and more, plus a great price. That's our best tire value promise. Duly noted. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. It's the spring tire sale, one of our biggest sales of the year, now through April 30th. America's best music and the news you need. This is 920 KSHO, Lebanon, Albany, Corvallis. Back with West Albany, hoping for a miracle. 5.9 left, trailing by two. Jefferson will be inbounded. West had deflected the first inbound try. Now Hall comes into Harper. Harper is quickly fouled by Dixon. And will shoot two with 4.5 left. If Harper or Sanders... I keep calling him Harper, and I don't know why. If Sanders hits both... It would be mighty difficult for West Albany, down four with 4.5 left. And Sanders asking, he, he threw the ball up when he, when he was grabbed there, asking if he gets three free throws here. Uh, uh, no. no, son. No. No, you do not. So Victor Sanders, a six-foot-five senior, saddled with foul trouble here in the second half. But has overcome it. A chance to put Jefferson up four with 4.5 seconds to go. First free throw from Sanders on its way, and no good. No good. West will have a chance. 54-52. Bulldogs with one timeout remaining. If Sanders misses, once again, you've got to get this rebound. Only one white jersey down low. That's Melson. And Chad is saying, if this goes in, we'll want a timeout. Sanders ready for the second. On its way, got it. So a three-point lead for Jefferson. Timeout West with 4.5 to go. The Bulldogs will have to go the length of the floor, 94 feet here in Eugene. But they will have a chance, Wally, to tie this game. Yes, they will. And they have practiced this play. You know that they have. I don't know what the play is, but you know that they have one dialed up just for this situation. Coach is having a little, little conference here out in front of us. 
they'll have about 30 seconds here after they after they chat and talk to the team about what he wants to do. You've got to get a pass. You don't want the short pass, and Jefferson knows this. You want to get a pass somewhere near midcourt if you can. Get somebody streaking from the other side. Keep the floor spread so that Jefferson can't key in on one player or another, and certainly don't give them the opportunity to double team anybody. That can give you a clean look. Four and a half seconds here is an eternity when you're getting the ball up the floor. Two passes, get the look, crash the board. You want this shot to go up with about two seconds to go so you have an opportunity to kick it back out possibly and get a quick three. 55-52, Jefferson with the lead by three. 4.5 seconds to go, West Albany is out of timeouts. Yeah, Jefferson, you would assume here, will put full court pressure on, guard the inbounder. They'll, they'll guard the inbounder to try and block the, block the view. They'll guard Sawyer Reed, but then they'll probably play kind of a zone defense here at the back. Josh Bryant, a water polo player and used to throwing a ball about that size long distances, will inbound on the baseline. Looking to throw the home run, looking for help. Now just needs to get it in. Gets it towards midcourt, and we're going to get a scramble for it. Picked up by Jalen, heaves it towards the rim, and just missed banking it in. It is over, and Jefferson hangs on to win it. 55-52. A mad scramble on the inbound. Jalen Schlegel was able to get to the loose ball, heaved it from just the inside half court, and just missed banking it in. Jefferson hangs on to win. Heartbreak for West Albany. What an effort, but it comes up just short. The Democrats 55, the Bulldogs 52. We'll take a break, come back, and wrap this one up. You're at 920 K Show. Lassen RV at Albany has the new RV models on the lot now, ready for you to buy. Lassen RV Service Department has a new truckload of parts and accessories on sale just in time for fall fix-up. From changing a light bulb to rebuilding your entire RV, no job is too big or too small for Lassen RV at Albany. Where friends send their friends. Join the fun at the Albany Athletic Club. Group fitness classes from low-impact dance to traditional circuit training, plus racquetball and more. Watch your waistline shrink and your health improve every day. Start now at the Albany Athletic Club on Hickory next to Tom's Garden Center. Albany Burgerville is now featuring the Ham Havarti Sandwich, all-natural diamond ranch ham layered with melted Havarti cheese on a toasted hoagie roll and the chocolate hazelnut milkshake. Pick up an Albany Burgerville rewards card now. Cash for every dollar spent. Albany Burgerville, fresh, local, sustainable. You will come out a winner at Power Honda. Their talented staff will show you how easy it is to get the vehicle you want and the payment you need. Check out MyPowerHonda.com. Call 928-0122 or just go in to Power Honda. Highway 20 east of I-5 in Albany, your Honda Superstore. Albany Grocery Outlet Bargain Market across from the Heritage Mall has Senior Day. The first Tuesday of every month, $2 off every purchase of $15 or more. Albany Grocery Outlet Bargain Market, 100% satisfaction guaranteed across from the Heritage Mall with bargains on the brands you trust. We're Linco Federal Credit Union. Keep your money in Lynn County with Linco Federal Credit Union. Enjoy a visit with one of our friendly staff at a neighborhood branch near you today. Linco Federal Credit Union in Albany, Lebanon, and Sweet Home. In Lynn, you're in. Family owned and operated since 1979, Crabtree Auto stresses the small stuff when it comes to maintaining your vehicle. An oil change every 3,000 miles is a small thing now, but adds up to big rewards down the road. Crabtree Auto on Hill Street, just south of 9th in Albany. Now is the time to buy a car at Mark Thomas Motors. Four generations of the auto business and here to stay. Mark Thomas Motors is big on supporting local events. Three locations in Albany, Dodge Chrysler Jeep, Hyundai, GMC Buick Pontiac. Now is the time to buy a car at Mark Thomas Motors in Albany. Unforgettable 920. Back here at Matthew Knight Arena, the final quarterfinal of the day here at the OSAA State Tournament. A heartbreaker for West Albany. Jefferson hangs on to win it 55-52. to 52. Give Jefferson all the credit. While they made the plays in the final minute, they were aided by a couple of very questionable no calls. And the one that occurred with about a minute to go when Chad Sherwood was trying to make a catch on the left wing was held by the back of the jersey. I mean, we could see it straight across the floor from us. Both officials missed the call. It went out of bounds for a West Albany turnover. And then on the final play of the game, on the inbound to midcourt, a lot of contact between Chad Sherwood and Silas Nelson. No whistle on that contact. The loose ball came down to Jalen Schlegel, who fired a desperation three from just inside half court, and it did not miss by much. Jefferson winds up winning it by three. What we will look back at here 
at the end of this game, and I cannot see the final stats because I need glasses, but West Albany's free throw shooting down the stretch, it bit them a little bit. Yeah, you, you lose a game by three points, and they left some opportunities at the foul line. Yes, the Bulldogs 9 for 17 from the free throw line in the for the, for the entirety of the game. That certainly uh, could could have made a huge difference in this game. Only shooting 53% basically from the line, the Bulldogs did. The turnover story, they, they limited it to eight turnovers there in the second half. Still too many, and Jefferson was able to get some points off of that. West Albany hung tough. They, they uh, you know, really did have their opportunities. Two late turnovers by the Bulldogs really, really hurt it. One on an out-of-bounds play where the ball was kicked out to Jalen. He tried, he, and uh, Chad Sherwood steps into the paint at the low block to, uh, to try and get the, just that quick hitter right there. Uh, Chad not able to field that pass, and it goes out of bounds. Another steal uh, when Nate had the ball at the top of the key. I believe it was the very next possession. Nate had the ball at the top of the key and, uh, and got stripped. And, and no call on contact there. They go to the other end, and then and, and a huge differential there. The Bulldogs, they, they had their opportunities, and, and, you know, one of the things that created those opportunities for them was their defense tonight. We said in the pregame, Jefferson averaging 75 points a game. They score 55 tonight. Bulldogs hold them 20 points under their season average, so certainly kudos to them. If you wanted to look for a moral victory, I think that right there, is is what it is that's uh uh that that's tremendous against a high potency offense and a team that wants to get out and run shoot the threes and get to the rim they want to throw throw dunks down they're doing it at 75 points a game bulldogs hold them to 55 just can't quite squeak this one out only one other time this year did jefferson score fewer points than they did here tonight that was in a win over benson uh, back on february the 19th but they do enough here tonight to win it 55-52 over West Albany. Uh, this is one that I think really the entire Albany community will mourn, but one that they can be proud of. Not too many people gave West Albany a chance in the game here tonight. People thought Jefferson would win and win convincingly. It looked like they might. They got out to a nine-point lead late in the first half, led by seven at intermission. But West Albany would not go away. In fact, they had the lead with about a minute to go. That's what's going to make this one hurt even more, is that it was right there for the taking. But Jefferson is able to make the plays and pull this one out. But from the outset, it was very apparent that West Albany was not going to be intimidated by Jefferson. Jefferson has the storied history. They have uh, the two alumni, alumnus, alumni, who were just drafted into the NBA. They are sponsored by Jordan Brand, which is pretty amazing for a high school team. They have all the tradition, and West Albany was not affected by that whatsoever. And they very nearly pulled this one out tonight, but they come up just short. 55-52, Jefferson gets the win. So we know where we'll be tomorrow morning, right here at 10.45 a.m. for the second Constellation semifinal. Sandy and Wilsonville will get things started at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then Milwaukee and West Albany at 10.45 tomorrow, and we'll be here for the broadcast. I know we need a couple of more breaks, so let's take one here, and we'll continue along in the postgame here from Matthew Knight Arena. Jefferson wins tonight, 55-52 over West on K-Show. Just like the Bulldogs, Courtesy Corner Shell gives you everything they have every time you drive in. Fast and friendly service, windows always clean. Non-ethanol fuels for small engines, boats, and vintage cars available. You can't beat Courtesy Corner Shell near Queen on Pacific Boulevard. They'll be happy to see you. Lynn Lanes in Lebanon, home of the best burger in town. Good family fun. Bowling. Open every day and until 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. Ballistic bowling starts at 10 on Saturday night. Stop by Lynn Lanes in Lebanon. Willamette Community Bank is proud to support local high school sports, music, and scholastic programs. Hi, this is Kevin Thomas, Vice President with Willamette Community Bank. Be part of the team and get behind our schools and our future leaders, serving you with branches in Albany and Lebanon. Willamette Community Bank, service like no other, we promise. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Taking a detour down a gravel road isn't fun for you or your tires. Luckily at Les Schwab, along with great prices, all of our car or pickup tires come with the kind of protection most other places don't give you, like free flat repairs and more. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. The mission of Now Builders is treat every job like it's their only job, no matter how big or small, and they don't stop until their customer is 100% satisfied 100% of the time. Check out their portfolio of fine work at nowbuilders.com. Call Now Builders at 541-926-2858. The short drive to Corvallis will save you time and money. This is Steve Buckner from Wilson Motors, inviting you to experience the notable difference at Wilson Motors. Fifth and Buchanan in Corvallis. Check us out at saveatwilson.com. 
America's best music and the news you need. This is 920 KSHO, Lebanon, Albany, Corvallis. Back again to Matthew Knight Arena. One of the very nice things about playing the final game of the day is that nobody is here waiting to push us out as we get things wrapped up as Jefferson has beaten West Albany 55-52. The semifinals are set. Churchill and Mountain View, Silverton and Jefferson, the matchups on Friday. Sandy and Wilsonville, Milwaukee and West Albany tomorrow in the consolation route. Jeff Kider joins us here with the final game stats. Unfortunately, those stats uh, don't include quite enough in the points column for West. And as Wally and I discussed, Jeff, the free throws, eight missed free throws for West Albany winds up being the difference. Yeah, and, and kind of surprising because we know West Albany is a better sh free throw shooting team than, than the nine of seven team which was 53 percent tonight but uh, uh great effort fantastic we have great seats it's a great place to watch a game and unfortunately west albany couldn't come on top uh tonight uh west albany uh ended up shooting uh, 49 percent from the field they were 20 of 41 uh, they were three of eight from the three-point line it's about 37 and a half percent and again nine of 17 from the free throw line about 53 percent uh jefferson uh, was 20 of 52 from the field, about 38.5%. They were 5 of 16 from threes, and uh, they were 10 of 13 from the free throw line. They hit about 77% of their free throws. Uh, the uh, West Albany Bulldogs had three players in double figures, uh, led by uh, Chad and Nate Sherwood. They both had 16 points, and Jalen Schlegel had uh, 15, uh, and Josh Bryant had five, and those were the only four, four Bulldogs that scored uh, tonight. Uh, uh, also, uh, Jalen Shigel had, had 12 rebounds. Uh, Josh Bryant had seven uh, rebounds, and Chad Sherwood had uh, four rebounds uh, for the Bulldogs. Uh, Jefferson was, uh, they had four players in double figures. Uh, they, they were led by Victor Sanders with uh, 12, Kadeem Strickland 12, Devontae Pascal had 12, and uh, Silas Melson had 11. Uh, West Albany had 18 turnovers for the game. Uh, Jefferson uh, only had nine. Uh, let's see. Uh, just a couple of um, uh, tidbits that I gave at halftime. West Albany had 30 points in the paint, so their bigs were uh, pretty efficient getting uh, points in the paint compared to Jefferson, 20. Uh, West Albany had seven points off turnovers. Jefferson had 14 points off turnovers. West Albany improved uh, in the second half. They had uh, on second chance points, they had 14 and Jefferson 11 and uh, not a lot of fast breaking which you would have thought that Jefferson uh, and I think that was key to having West Albany keep the game uh, where it was at and they held Jefferson to only four fast break points for the game. Um, just a great effort uh, and and uh, hopefully they can come back regroup um, take the positives from tonight and get after it in the morning. Another very, very good team waiting in the morning in Milwaukee. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. We need one final break, so let's do it here, and we will return to wrap things up. Jefferson 55, West Albany 52 on K-Show. Figaro's in Albany now has the ultimate super combo and the ultimate super meat, only $16.99 or $17.99 baked. Albany Figaro's in front of Fred Meyer. And ask about their gluten-free crust, 541-924-9303. Making life easier and more productive, that's what Lynn Benton Tractor can do for you. And it all begins by discovering how the full line of Kubota equipment can help. Benton, Benton Tractor, we're still doing business the American way. Highway 99E, Tangent. Building a home? Remodeling? Spring a leak? Think Brass Plumbing. Prompt quality service at affordable rates. Whatever your plumbing needs, including disasters, count on Brass Plumbing. Call 926-2727. For Brass Plumbing. Looking to save money on lighting fixtures? Larry and Marge Tomlin, owners of J&J &J Electric, invite you to compare prices, but don't buy until you've seen the high quality and low prices at J&J. &J. Visit their spectacular showroom. The hometown folks at J&J &J Electric appreciate your business. J&J &J Electric, South Pacific and 22nd in Albany. Serving the Mid-Valley for 37 years with collision, mechanical, glass, and RV repair, Pacific Auto Services is now Stavros Auto Services. Same people, same commitment to excellence, you've got their name on it. Call Stavros Auto Services at 541-926-7248. Buying or selling a home is one of the most important decisions you'll make in your lifetime. 
Delene Myers of Remax Integrity is dedicated to assisting you through every step of that process. Contact Delene at 974-3196 or Delene Myers at Remax.net. Unforgettable 920. You can catch all the action from the OSAA State Championships for free at OSAA.tv. OSAA.tv is the home to live and on-demand video coverage of the OSAA State Championships. You can watch this year's events and relive your favorite moments from the past at OSAA.tv, all for free. You can even purchase DVD copies. Check out OSAA.tv today. Final score here tonight, Jefferson 55, West Albany 52. Wally, it is certainly heartbreaking, but the Bulldogs don't have a lot of time to really worry about that. About 12 hours from now, they're going to be back on this floor. Yeah, you got to, got to uh, get some, get a good night's sleep, get a snack now, get a good night's sleep, and then uh, come back firing. And I, I think the Bulldogs will. I think they'll rebound from this very well. I, I don't think they'll be sluggish at all. The uh, the disappointment, both these teams that meet tomorrow morning are disappointed. Sure. The, both both thought that they uh, both had chances to win. And, uh, you know, so they, they, they both have to fight that. The Bulldogs are seasoned veterans. They're they're going to come back from this, and and uh, the the team that I saw in Milwaukee, uh, this West Albany team should handle. They uh, there's very little uh, very little motion to their offense. They just want to just just want to take you one on one, and they want to try and get to the rim. Bulldogs they know how to defend that. They've played Zach Gangler, right. so so certainly they uh, they they have uh, you know great chances to move on uh, to the consolation final. That's the goal now. I, got, I can't let this broadcast go without talking about the play tonight of Sawyer Reed. Yeah. Three rebounds, five assists, no points, and I thought he was an all-star. I absolutely did. Bringing the ball up against pressure, he did not turn the ball over against this, this uh, very solid Jefferson defense, very quick Jefferson defense with hands everywhere. Sawyer Reed managed this, managed this game very, very well from the point guard position, and uh, it, his leadership, I think, was, was key to uh, to the success of the Bulldogs tonight, not successful in the win column, but certainly uh, certainly uh, in keeping this game competitive. Sawyer Reed deserves some kudos. Yeah, and the Sherwoods were great, 16 points apiece, and Jalen Schlegel in the third quarter when West Albany started to make their push and get themselves back in the game, he was tremendous. Really got the energy going. The Bulldogs managed to take a lead in the closing minutes, but not quite enough. Jefferson had the answer every time and. The top teams in the state will have an answer at those moments. Jefferson wins 55 to 52. Very impressed on the Jefferson side by the performance of Kadeem Strickland, who provided a lot of that pressure on Sawyer Reed. And right as you were mentioning Sawyer Reed's performance, Kadeem Strickland ran behind us here. It was appropriate timing because he really, I thought, had a tremendous impact on the game. And as much as I thought Victor Sanders and Silas Nelson would be the two to carry the load for Jefferson, it was Kadeem Strickland that really had some big shots at Devontae Pascal, a big three-point play down the stretch as well. A small note here for Jefferson. Silas Melson, who was shaken up a little bit on that last play, has been walking through the gym here with an ice pack on his right shoulder. So as Jefferson tries to make their way past Silverton on Friday night, that would be something worth watching. But our focus will be on West Albany back here tomorrow morning, 10.45, the tip time on the air, about 10.30, back here in Eugene. Wally, you got to have a safe drive home. Yes, well, you too, all seven it's minutes short of it. One, yeah. yes, yes, it is. I'm happy for you for, for that. You... Uh, you you make the the effort and make the drive so many times. It's uh, I'm glad you're able to do that closely. Want to remind our listeners too, if they aren't near an AM radio, can't catch us on 920 K Show. They're sitting at work. They've got the computer in front of them. K Show dot net. And again. another uh, programming reminder that to tomorrow we will have two games for you. It's not a, quite a double header. It's I guess you could call it a day night double header. 10:45 for the boys. Then the girls will take to the floor. And the West Albany girls will be in action tomorrow night, 8-15, against Corvallis. The Mid-Atlantic Conference showdown, we'll have that one back here for you. So here in the morning, we'll take a break and return for the evening. There's a lot of basketball yet to be played here in Eugene. And West Albany will be trying to make their way into the consolation final, which would be Saturday morning. Disappointment in this one, but give West Albany a lot of credit. They fought Jefferson to the very end before the Democrats get the win. 55-52. See you in the morning about 12 hours from now. Thank you, Wally. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. It was great. I love doing these games with you. Disappointed tonight, but we'll get back after it just like the Bulldogs do tomorrow. Thanks to Jeff Kyder with the stats and to Brian Holman for being our engineer here tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Once again, your final score here tonight. Jefferson 55, West Albany 52. This has been the OSAA U.S. Bank Les Schwab Tires 5A Boys Basketball State Championships on K-Show. The Oregon School Activities Association thanks you for listening to this OSAA U.S. Bank Les Schwab Tires State Championship event.
Les Schwab Tires, celebrating more than 55 years of pride in performance. U.S. Bank, proud to celebrate its 27th year of supporting OSAA state championships. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast of an OSAA state championship event. Thanks for listening to tonight's broadcast of West Albany High School Basketball on the unforgettable 920 KSHO. Bulldogs basketball has been brought to you by Economy Supply Building Center, City and Suburban Electric, Albany Grocery Outlet, Mark Thomas Motors, Courtesy Corner Shell, H&R Block, Stavros Auto Services, Willamette Community Bank, Lassen RV, J&J Electric. Les Schwab Tires of Albany, Lynn Lanes, Brass Plumbing, Crabtree Automotive, Power Honda, Figaro's, Albany Athletic Club, Linco Federal Credit Union, Burgerville, Now Builders, Wilson Motors, and by Lynn Benton Tractor. Listen throughout the season for more exciting Bulldogs basketball here on 920 KSHO. This broadcast is exclusive property of Ease Broadcasting, Unforgettable 920, KSHO, and Ryan Wally Productions. U.S. copyright law protects this broadcast. Duplication or rebroadcast of any portion of this program is strictly prohibited without prior written consent. We now join our regular program. You found us, so now tell your friends. America's Best Music is on the show, AM 920, K-Show.